Oh, not so late a start. Coffee, half and half. All right, so for those just catching up, we're, you know, looking back on the history, because I'm sure it'll take people a little while to arrive. I also don't know if this is a great streaming time. Friday evenings seem to be crowded. <clears throat> but then again, that's probably when people generally expect to come by and find stuff to look at. Ugh, whatever. So, this is my time. It's the best I can do. But hopefully some people will swing back by and look at this video. Um, and I would recommend it if you are at all curious about how to edit Dwarf Fortress. I'm not going to get into a whole lot, but there is something I want to accomplish. And the reason... I want to accomplish these things. I'm moving windows back here. Hold on. Which which would know is this? Customize v Visual Studio Code. Okay. All right. If I change any of these windows, the whole thing falls apart. But anyway, I've done two streams so far with Dwarf Fortress. That is, and something went wrong. So so okay. Sometimes, especially around holidays, when I'm doing Let's Play work, you know, recording, pre-recording, doing editing, slapping together, putting front and, uh, you know, intro and outro credits and all that stuff, I might record two or three, sometimes in extreme circumstances, four episodes in a row. And while doing that, while doing that, sorry, my phone's making noises over here, while doing that, I said that three times, <clears throat> Uh, in my last Let's Play series ended when Toon, who, who is the character you're seeing swinging her sword, um, Toon's head got bit off by a Cyclops. And I wasn't ready to stop recording yet. And that was such a bizarre end, and the season didn't seem to be going very well or anywhere, I think in part because adventure mode was still a little buggy and I couldn't turn in quests and I'd be sent to places that were in ruins and return things to places that turned out to be ruins and <clears throat> having visited the fortress that fell in the previous season before that, there wasn't really much I could do there. Um, there wasn't an obvious beast to slay. I, I took out a couple of necromancers that were hanging out or, or something like that, maybe weird dark visages of whatever. I did all that, and it didn't really uh, solve anything. So I just like, okay, head bit off. That's interesting. I'll lay, I'll leave it there. What I started to do was I went straight into making, um, starting a new fortress, and I recorded an in, an episode of that. And there's a save game for that. And then I started streaming and I needed to learn how to do Twitch and I needed to learn how to do OBS and I'm still only like a partial, you know, fraction of the way through doing all that stuff. Uh, I created another fort and it seems to have had the same name. So in the one of the two streams, and I, I don't really dare go back right this instant to find out which of the two. I started a new fortress with the same name, and in the other stream, I, I reloaded it from the other fort that was supposed to be for the Let's Play series. So that kind of messed everything up for both. I could continue to stream one or the other and apologize for the one extraneous stream that is in uh, doesn't fit with anything else that's going on or I could start again get rid of both of them start again three streams three new forts how about that hmm hmm <clears throat> however one of my motivations in season seven was to take out all of my custom work because there was a, a like a isometric viewer that you could look at your fortress in sort of 3D. But what I had found in previous seasons was it doesn't like my custom minerals, it doesn't like my custom stones, my whatever, and it caused the thing to crash. It wasn't 
adaptable enough a piece of code that someone wrote to to read the raws and say, oh, that's a legit thing, and it has this color, so I'm just going to do it. No, it, it had pre-coded everything that comes vanilla with Dwarf Fortress, and anything else caused it to crash. So that made me sad. Season 7, the beginning of the lost, the, the whatever tower, I took all my stuff out so that I could have a clean thing so I could do the isometric view at towards the end. You know, like, here, look at my nifty tower. And then the tower fell and before it ever became a tower. It's more like a crater with a wall around it. <clears throat> so... I want my custom content. If I'm not going to be able to do isometric, I want my custom content back. So let me now get into a little of how it's done. So many of you will know this. Um, but maybe some of you won't. And some of you, at the very least, even if you know how to do this, may not know that I have a GitHub repository with my work that you could exploit and take and steal and add upon or even commit back to to improve my work. Maybe figure out some of the things that are a little bit broken. Like, I'm pretty sure my custom work, the pedestals didn't work. There was something, because the, the work began before they introduced altars and pedestals. But then, so I exported my thing, used it, made a couple of tweaks, and it worked with the new version of Dwarf Fortress and until I realized, wait, I can't put down pedestals and stuff. So one thing I'm not going to do today is try to resurrect any of the work that, in, that adds new things, to, like new items. I had a, a shield called an Aegis, for example. Um, that will work. That's not a problem. But in order to make it available to dwarves, I have to go into the files to edit what is a default or a exotic item to them. And if people request it, I'll show how to do that in the future. Man, I'm already starting to get congested from talking. This is too soon! Stop it, face. Stop it. Okay. So... I will at least bring back my extra words, and I'm going to add, bring back extra food. So I think I'm going to split today into two streams, where I, I'll go through this, and then, you know, stop and start again. I won't be gone long or anything like that. And then the second one will be just playing the game. Because it's a four-hour stretch, and I had one person last time who said, Yeah, I, <clears throat> I like your stuff, but man, that four-hour thing is a bit much to ask. I'm like, I kind of agree. Oh, come on, face. So let's get into it. Let us get into it. So, let me fiddle with OBS right now. I have a GitHub account. This is this doxes me a little bit, but who cares? I mean, I'm probably not gonna. I'm sort of a lefty kind of guy, so maybe somebody will use this to find me or whatever. But it's not very likely. Um, but you know, I'm on GitHub. I am out there. I do coding. Um, I do design work, various other things. And, uh, if, hey, if you want to hire me, that's cool. I would like to get out of the place where I work now. Coffee. Alright, but, here is, here is a publicly facing GitHub repository called What Eurist Said. And it is strictly a subset of the raw files that have been modified to add a lot of new words. So the vocabulary in the game is expanded. And I, there's so much more here that could be done. Absolutely a, an enormous about, uh, amount more that could be done. Right? Um, and that's why, hey, if some of you are interested and you can follow along and want to add some more words, I would, like, use them. The only problem is, once you've started a game based on these raws, it's harder to edit after the fact. So you kind of have to commit to, I am going to use version 0.17 of what Eurist said for this fortress. And then the next fortress, I could get some updates. It's not strictly required. You can get into editing the raws of a live game, but you're in more danger if you do so. You could, you could ruin your saves or whatever. So let's just briefly review. Public repo, mostly for mostly additions, sorry. I made a few adjustments. Some of the language stuff that was in the game already did make sense, and I found some of the translated words to be hard to say, like awkward or uh, rough, unpleasant to say. 
Um, and unless that was intentional, like for goblins, I wanted to make some of the... Also, some of the words were interrelated enough that I made their translations sound related to each other. I did some of that. There's so much more, again, that could be done. Anyways, this is a subset of Raw Dwarf Meat, uh, which has a lot more stuff. It's not just language. It's food. It's new metals. It's um, new clothing types and new armor things. And uh, like Chris, there's, you know, the, the sinuously snaky dagger that Chris has been added, a few other things like that. My, my wife added a bunch of stuff, too. Um, she finds this interesting. So here's changelog. Um, no install script per se, just copy these files over to your main raw objects directory. And again, like I said, before you start a new game. It will, when you start a new game, it will go to the raw original directory to pull its things from in order to generate the content for a new game, which is set aside in another directory. I will get to that part later. Um, you are welcome and encouraged to contribute, please. I mean, I see somebody, a couple of people who have looked at it and one's watching. So that's something. So, um, let's go back to the beginning. Version 011. I, the, the versioning system uh, here is not super meaningful, but at least it will remain consistent. On a whim, decided to add to the language file Butte, a flat top hill, because I, you know, I wanted things to be in interesting places. Contract and contract, legal and physical. You can contract something or you can contract something. Expanse, again, to expanse will come into like the naming of worlds a lot. Crag and forge. These are words that did not exist. And they should have. On a whim, decided to add proximity, approximate, legal, illegal, crime, criminal, court, courtship, right? On a whim, decided to add to the language files, colony, near and far, cryptic, fruitful, unjust and injustice, miser, uh, smelt, nobility, singular, wrapped and rapture, seam, words that didn't exist in the game. Reptile, not in the game. Turtle, amphibian, not in the game. Olm is not in the game. I actually recently found out Olm is, not, is a real animal. I did not know that. Salamander, not in the game. It is now. Well, at least once you've used this. Here's a big one. This is the way. Why did I say that? In reference to ancient life forms. Uh, states of being. Yeah. The This is the way. So, on a whim decided to add to the language files. Don't tell me what to do. Adding ad adjective ruinous to the verb, verb ruin. You could ruin something, but something couldn't be ruinous. Now it can. Um, fixed planets adjective to be planetary as opposed to planetary. I think there was a typo I found in the original content. Civil is an adjective. Uh, civilization. Cobble. Cobbler. When I say this is the way I think I'm referring to, there are now going to be words for the various jobs people have. So cobble and cobbler. Cobblestone. Tear is an eyes. Torn to tear. Weave. Uh, you know, weavers. So you have the noun, the adjective, and the verb to do all those things, uh, N-A-V. Added confederate as an adjective to confederacy, and moved verb away from that to the confederation instead. So if you're to confederate as a verb, it's under confederation. Um, federation, just a different, you know, a different take on that. Simplistic, hegemony, unit, fasting, fast, vitreous, Vitriol, hide, hiding, hone, sharpen, sharp, indignity, revolt, insulate, phantasm, contemptuous, organism, mortal and immortal. Of these were adjusted to be more useful, including verbiage for the latter. <clears throat> Fateful, added to the alter added as an alternative to fate ed. Sometimes it, if for any one word definition, I'm pretty sure it can only handle having one adjective, whatever. Some of these words technically could have more than one, so they are added as alternatives. Um, glass was not in the game. Added compound adjective to all the adjectives related to stony descriptions. So now you could have the, the obsidian order, I guess. <laughs> uh, Star Trek reference. Lodge action. Lodge place. So you know, lodge is a thing you can do. You can lodge something into a hole or whatever. But there's also a place you can go that is a lodge. Lodging, whatever. Tinkered a fair bit with the language files. In and Aradin. Aradin. Terms for nations. Confederacy, whatever. Um, then, let's see, what's... Oh my gosh. The odd jobs. So, after cobbler, I realized, wait, there's a whole... Well, cobble and weave. I realized there was more. So... 
uh, let's see, wherein in Dwarven, and, and actually the translated, the translations start to take on structure. So if there, if whatever the word, I, I don't remember off the top of my head, whatever the word for ambush is, um, it is the job. So the word is the job and the word I plus IT at the end is the name of the person who does the word. So whatever the word is for here, ambush is this, and then ambusher is that same word, but with IT at the end. And so as you start to hear, well, read words in the game, it starts to offer the opportunity for them to start having real meaning. And you could actually like interpret what's going on by looking at the names and, and words for places and stuff. So all these jobs, ambush, appraising, bowyery, brewery, burning things, um, not a job or a worker cap. I think it was just a word that I struck me as I could use this and it wasn't there. Caretaking, carpentry, carvers, cleaners, clerks, cloths, and uh, comedians, consolers, converse, conversationalists, crafters, designers, dissectors, dyers, engineers, engravers, farmers. Um, made minor adjustments to fish noun and fish verb to make it the latter linguistically consistent with the job. So before the job and the noun were wildly different words now they're similar words you can f you can visually figure out hey because this is the word for fish with this particle at the end it is it is a fish er you know wasn't the case before i wanted to fix that flat flattering um similar thing with growing and growth you'll any well whatever herbalism hunting intimidating leatherworking lying lie but no lie maker thanks um <clears throat> that word is too too like complicated for this the, the code i think mace masonries uh mace just wasn't in the game masonry mechanics milkers millers all this stuff um some of the things they do potash excuse me with my friggin face prospect prospector record and record keeping seekers soapers stock plants Oh, uh, stock as in the stock of a plant, not to stock somebody. Two different words in, in, their, in their languages. Threshing, trading, training, trapping, weaponing, uh, you know, weapon smithing. Leaving off the smith since that's a word already. So you can, if you want weapon smith as a, a, the name of something, you can just put the two words together. Weapon smith. Uh, weaver, woodworker, whatever, cobbler. Uh, so the work I'd already done on cobble was adjusted to fit this pattern. You know, I, I was only starting to occur to me I wanted to do this around the time of these two different versions. Worshipping. Also fixed feldspar, calling itself feldspar in the game. That technically either word is a correct spelling for the mineral, but feld, it was inconsistent. They had it both ways, so I made it one way. And then a few bold actions. This was the last thing I'd done probably a year or two ago, maybe more. Uh, molten. I found it was in the game twice. So I, I got rid of melt and added it as part of the molten definition. So now melting and molten have similar sounding words. Um, defy, rely, resolve, valor. So, so there's you can see there's a lot more that could be added. It, the one thing will be you have to compare against what's already in there to um, judge whether or not you should. Otherwise, you don't want duplicates. That could probably break the game. So, that's just the change log. Let's look at the files themselves real quick. So, first, the word definitions. Come on. Uh-oh. You know what? That was the wrong screen. You guys have been looking at the wrong thing the whole time what you just said. Browser. There we go. I'm sorry, I'm gonna just go back real quick and just, this is what I was, I'm, I went from the bottom up, so version one, placements, legalities and such, states of being, reference to ancient life forms, this is the way, um, odd jobs of bold action. So that's what I was just talking about. I didn't realize I had the wrong window up. Because they look the same. It turned out the other way of attaching this to OBS is not interactive. So that's why you didn't see anything. Whoops. Wrong. Don't look at my other things. All right, so... Where was I? Yeah, let's look at a file. So language words. These... 
this is a big file. This defines any given word. So which where did where's one that I add? Notice the the translations are not present. This is just uh, for the lack of a better word. This is a particle. Uh, well, a stem, maybe. This is the definition. So we have the word act. It has a noun, act and acts plural. Okay, and then. It can be used in the front compound noun singular. Um, so, and um, let's say, oh man, I'm trying to figure this out. Let's see, can I name something in game right now? Let me let me first get rid rid of that other thing before I accidentally select it again. Yes. Okay. Okay. So let's go to the let's turn off the browser into the game. I'm going to back out real quick too. Let's see. Um, no, I'm not. I want to keep the frame up until I've actually finished my work. Game, 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 game. There you are. Okay. So, what's... How can I name... Can I, can I just name something right off the top of my head? I don't think I can. All right, let's back up. Let's save the game. Bear with me. Bear with me. Do it. Do it. Uh, sorry, this will take a minute. So this was roughly 11.40, so around 1.40. Is, should be the maximum for this particular sort of educational stream. Okay, so let's let's just create a new world. We don't give a crap anything about the world. I just want to have the access to creating a name. Yes, I know. Make it small. Make it pocket. Make it a short history. Make it a crap ton of civilizations, a lot of sites, a lot of beasts, a lot of savagery, a lot of minerals. Why? Very tall. Uh, see, year five. They're done. Okay. Enter. All right, start playing. Uh, crap. Did I not? Ah, uh, and then you moyo. Is that the one I just made? I don't usually pick elven names, so I think it was. Dwarf Fortress. The way it automatically names uh, folders, I wasn't absolutely sure. Nope, that's year 121. Okay, it doesn't matter. We had a map. I don't care about this... Uh, so let's just say, let's put a fortress right here. Hello, this is me trying to remember how to use buttons. Whoa. Oh my god. I've been playing too many other games, I guess. Let's go to a big old river. Okay. Okay, yes. Ah, there we go. Okay. All right. Let's put a, a fortress here. Cool. Embark. Uh, prepare, no, return to game, fine, I don't care, <laughs> name fort, okay, so you see, you have this pattern, this, this is the maximum you can do, Some, most of you are probably familiar with this, but, see, let's see, uh, you can have just a compound name, blah, blah, and so you have a front and a rear, first and second, so, Abby, uh, well, let's just say, how do I filter? Uh, red. No? Are you kidding me? Okay, buttered. Um, buttered fortress. Reked Gashud. So it is a, it has a front and a rear compound of the name. Now we're going back to the browser. Please, I am up. You know what? I can probably make this bigger. Just yeah. Eh, wow, that's still cut. Whoa! I just realized there was a lag. <laughs> uh, okay, that's good enough. Okay, so what this is declaring here for? Uh, let's do Abby. No, let's do one more complicated. This one's pretty complicated. 
Actually, that one's using an indent I am not familiar with, so it must be original. Okay, I ordered these things. Yeah, weave. You, you heard at, le at least me talking about weave. Okay, so weave. It has a noun, it has an adjective, it has a verb. This is about as much as you can do with a word. The front compound and rear compound says it's allowed to be a noun and it's allowed, um, you're allowed to use weave as the front compound as a noun singular. You're also allowed to um, use it as the rear. So right now, I don't think weave is in the game, but I could do weave weave if I wanted to. Then you have the, so let's go back. Bear with me, because this is not, I should create different scenes so I can switch back and forth, but this requires me spending more time away from, off camera doing crap like that. So let's see, back to the game. Window, please. Okay, so Weave's not here, but I can do, let's just go Abby, Abby, and then Abby, 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 wait. Abby, Abby. Coulette, coulette. And then the is the referring to, so the abbey, again. Abbey, abbey, the abbey. The compound um, says it can be, this word is allowed to be used for the, so it could have been the weave. And the singular noun, the singular version of it, is allowed. So it could be the weave, or it could, because here they, well, right now, Okay, the compound noun, singular? That's, that one's actually confusing to me. Um, I, I can infer what it means, but I don't actually know that I've ever seen that work. Anyways, <clears throat> you, it could also just be the noun, uh, and when I when they say, oops, I'm, I'm still in the game. This is mildly irritating. I'll, I'll get better at this as I go along. No, I don't care about that right now. Thank you. Bring back the browser. So the noun, it could be the weave. And the noun plur, it could be the weaves. Okay, so it could be abby abby of the abbeys of whatever. It could be then of noun plural. So, uh, you know, the weaves of weaves or the weave of weaves or the weaves of weave, whatever. Um, so that's what all these mean. When it is an adjective, let's go back to the game. <laughs> I will get the hang of this, I promise. Uh, let's see, here we go. So, the abbey. First adjective, second adjective, you can put as two adjectives in your name. So, the uh, red, N yes, the red, the red abbey, the red, um, blue, abbey, whatever. So, and then of, abbeys. Abby, Abby, the red, blue, Abby of Abbeys. Um, so that's all the parts that I can think of. The compound one is confusing to me. That I could I could use a, a, a primer on or something. But anyways, this... Uh, going back again. Browser, please. There we go. Okay, so. Adjective distance... This is, uh, um, distance is for like in the order of things. So you, when you're talking things like little red wagon, you're very, very rarely are you going to hear to someone say the red little wagon. Most of the time they're going to say the little red wagon. And that's just custom. That's our language, whatever. We've, we've become accustomed to doing things a certain way. The either way isn't technically wrong. But there are preferences in which order these things go. And that's what's being referred to here as the um, adjective distance. So the one is the thing you would say first. And I think it goes as far out as seven. So when the game is odd, you could, you, when you're making a name like I am right now in the background there, you could do whatever the heck you want in terms of order. But the game when it automatically renders name is going to look at adjective distance and say I'm going to put little before red 
you know, little might be a one or a two, and red might be a three or a four, and it will it will try to order things in such a way as to sound more natural. So that's what's going on. The adjective can be used in the compound section out front, where I have abby abby. It could be red abby or abby blue or whatever. Um, again, the compound adjective is confusing me right now. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I feel like that should be easy to answer, though. What the heck am I brain farting over here? Bringing it back. Okay, hyphen compound. That must be what they mean. So red. Abby, Abby, the red, blue, red Abby of Abbeys. So again, bringing back the browser. The compound adjective, this is the hyphen one they were just saying. So the woven wo weaves or whatever, the, you know, the woven weave of weaves, whatever. Verb. This doesn't come up in names. You get, you don't, it's, I think standard verb is the only thing you can do. I'm probably wrong, but I think it's the only thing you can do. And that is being used um, throughout like the game to name pl uh, places and um, titles and books and stuff like that. So you can enable all these. Some words don't, des some like weaver. There isn't really a verb version of weavering. You, you, you know, weavering isn't really a thing but a weaver weaves so when i get into this later i will make these words sound similar as you one would expect a weaver weaves weavings you know there's there's a common um token out front or you know in different languages may not maybe not necessarily in the front but in english it's usually the front um that will determine that stuff so that's that this these this defines how words are assembled. Now we'll go into uh let's see. Boop a doop a doop doop a doop a doop. Alright. So that's the, the this defines the words themselves. Then the symbology is a file that associates words with groups of things. And the symbols themselves I think are hard coded in the game. I don't think you can add or remove symbols without destroying everything. Haven't tried, but I believe this will be the case because I've never been offered the opportunity to do anything like that. But let's say, here's a symbol. Flowery language includes things like adore and amethyst, blossom, um, deer, dessert. Think nice sounding, kind of fluttery, kind of foofy sounding words. Periwinkle, you know? And then you got another one, nature. These are more, this includes... Uh, a lot, you know, things that sound natural. And so if an elf needs a name and, and elves are associated with a symbol of nature, their names are going more likely to include things like berry and bee than they are copper and uh, obsidian and stuff, which because they don't, their, their files are not associated strongly with that kind of stuff. Holy, evil, there's so many, and a lot of these overlap. You'll see the same word applied to multiple different things, and that's okay. Negator. This one, negators, a little more nebulous a concept, but corrupt, crack. It's sort of evil, but it's evil actions or things that destroy, and that's what's going on here. And you can see there's a lot. I've and and whatever. So, magic, uh, violent is a token. That's a long one. Peace, short one. <laughs> Ugly, long one. Uh, death, old, subordinate, leader, new, domestic, misaligned word. It doesn't actually matter. There are some programming languages. This is not one of them. This is in different program. This is just a, like a init file. Um, actually care about indentation this thing doesn't but i like to use indentation to keep my brain functioning correctly uh, let's see that was a long one mythic artifice come on Woo, lots of artifices color i didn't i don't think i added any colors not to my knowledge mystery uh negative negative Come on, come on, come on. Romantic, assertive, aquatic, protect. 
Now, Aegis is a word I did add, and since it's a shield, but also the concept of shielding, I am going to be an Aegis. This is the Aegis Foundation, whatever. Protecting, that's it, it belongs there. Restraint, restraining things, obstacle, tangle, strap, silence, prison, all makes sense. Unit? I added unit, but why is that a restraint? I don't know. Uh, sometimes I second-guess myself. Thought, wild, swamp, names of swamps, so bile, bog, goo, marsh, mire, morass, murk, sludge, and swamp. Name of desert, desert, dune, sand, waste, forest, forest, jungle, wood, mountains, aegis again. I can imagine a mountain being called the aegis. Axe, barb, beak, butte. I added that one. Cap, I think. That's probably when I, why I added cap. Crag, I added. Crest, dagger, finger, horn, uh, mountain, point, spike, spine, tooth, tower, wall. Um, oceans, blue. The blue, I guess, I suppose. Gulf, sea. Gulf is one of... You see these double word things when there are multiple gulfs and they have to mean different things ocean sea water glacier uh blizzard cap oh like ice cap i guess i could see why i added cap now that i've seen it a few times uh tundra grassland hills uh just regions in general um so i added uh, expand which expanse is under expand so i added that one world wilderness whatever cave a lot of names earth this is sort of like stone and stuff so this is more that what dwarves would be associated with and i added a bunch amethyst amazonite aquamarine um a lot of these are old feldspar was when i mentioned fixing um from the original content it was there but it was wrong zircon whatever lake different from sea different from ocean uh entity kingdom uh, uh let's see Aegis could go here. Aegis could totally go here, technically. Um, whatever. So this is how that works. Let me actually do that. No, I'm not going to do that. Let's go back. Okay. So that's that. What anything. That was the symbology. Okay, so now we have a language file per species that is allowed to speak. I notice that like the um, kobolds or whatever, they're, the, they're not here. I would like to see them expanded into a race that you could trade with and stuff. That's a lot of work. I haven't mastered that. I don't want to try to tell you how to do it. But let's take a look at the uh, dwarves. So this is relatively simple. This just says, here's the word and here's the translation. So I added, uh, no, QA existed already um, because the background that there, the game that I was showing in the background hasn't, uh, hasn't really been uh, done yet. So let's see. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, I'm trying to remember how I did this. I think I added all the custom stuff at the bottom. Yes, I did. So in order to keep people's sanity intact, um, my new words begin here. So again, it's in alphabetical order, but it's a it's this double sec. It's a second section. I think I might have a comment or two throughout um, where I tweaked something. But this was sort of what I was talking about. Let's see: Aegis, Sidel, Amazonite, Omars, I, uh, Ambusher. So ambush, like I said before, the the new logic I've introduced through this uh, thing. You can add. Um, well, the, the, the concept of ambushing is jazz, and the ambusher is a jazzit. See? So amphibian, triage, uh, appraise, hun, the appraiser, hun it. Approximating, goyat, I guess I could have added approximator, but I don't, I didn't. Uh, let's see, another one, bowyer. Bow, you know, the bow existed, so I went and looked up the word for bow, and then I just added it. So, um, same with nam, whatever. Uh, care to voon, uh, caretaker, voon it, C uh, carpenter, hack, carpentry is hack, carpenter, hack it. <laughs> I think that one was on purpose. <laughs> um, vati, vatit, uh, sometimes if, if I wanted the word to have something at the end, it, the, this would extend it rather than replace or replace it, whatever. I, I tried to make it 
like civil, the concept of being civil is chow. The civilization is a derivation of that chow lo. I, I try to do this so that when you see the words in game, they start to make sense. They're not completely random. They are random, but with a certain logic being added to them that did not exist before. So it's again, it's the same for elves. Go to the bottom. See my new stuff. Same con whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, that was just throwing me off. So, again, so you can ambush Asa, the ambusher Asa way. So all of the ways are the person who does the thing. And then goblin, same concept again. What, what is that one thing that's always misaligned? What is that? Every time. So... Again, ambush jup, ambusher jupux, and humank. Excuse me. Son is to ambush. Son ith is to be, is an ambusher. Um, tiar is a praise. A tiar ith is an appraiser. So that's that's how I did it. And let us, let me show you then. You can grab this. There are a couple ways. If you do not want to have to deal with having your own GitHub implementation on your computer, you can just download the zip. I will do that. It, I now have what you said on my computer. So let's see. Get rid of the browser. Show me the files. Okay. So where did that go? Um, bring it up. I'm going to open my downloads in a different window that you can't see. Here's what Eurist said. I'm going to open it up. And what I'm going to do is head to, uh, let's see, Rod Dwarf Fortress, yep, data. Uh, in it is that right no that is not right i am in the wrong place there are some important things there but that's not right art I'm, bear with me a second help initial moves movie save no raw i'm sorry okay so under raw go to objects this is everything in the game i can go into this to a certain degree um i, I actually i will before the end of the stream i will get into this somewhat but I, in my se separate window here, I'm just going to copy over everything except the readme file, which came down with it. I'm just going to bring them over. I'm going to replace the files in the destination. You can't see any of that. I apologize. But now you can see these are all here. Um, I don't think I can open up so you can see it, but um, modified right now. <sighs> Human language. Those, those words are now all in my the game. If I start a new world, they will be there. That's the goal. So that's it for languages. I do want to add some other things though. So let's see. Leave the files real quick. Open up the browser again. Let's go look at something else. So uh, what Eurist said. Oh, I'm here already. Oh, no, wrong one. So let's go over to raw dwarf meat. Raw Dwarf Meat, there's a lot more going on. Man, 20 frickin' 20. Okay, so anyways, wish list. I have things I would like to have added. By the way, caffeine. If you look... Actually, let me do that right now. I'm going to switch out again. Someday I'll become good at this. Files, right? If you go to Raw, Graphics, and you go into Phoebus... Well, no, that's Phoebus. Oh, sorry, the graphics. Caffeine is here. She did. Can I make that bigger? Uh, well, it's hard to say. She did a bunch of animals, mostly birds. She did the horseshoe crab right here. This second line is hard to see on my screen. I'm, I apologize. Horseshoe crab, crab, a bunch of fish, uh, magpie she did, kestrel she did, a few. Um, unfortunately, this whole project with these graphics that were compiled together in the uh, to be alongside the Phoebus were sort of 
weirdly controlled by this N.W. Kohaku person. And they actually took a cup of caffeine's things and added it to theirs and then redefined the raw files to use her, theirs instead of hers. It's very strange and, and kind of offensive. So caffeine dropped out at that point. She didn't want to deal with that anymore. That was like, what the hell? This isn't your project. What are you doing with my stuff? It was really weird. But she's in here. She's done work um, for Dwarf Fortress. And it has been, if you go to the Phoebus, Phoebus tile set out on the internet and download that, her stuff is there. I'm, I'm, I think that's cool. Um, I haven't pushed to have any of my stuff edited because she's better at it. But anyways, I would um, like more of her stuff in there. But that's that's a big ask. Um, I wanted to add giant editions of various domestic animals like giant chicken stuff. Um, I even want to redesign how animals work completely, and that's possible. I don't think I'll talk about it here. If people ask for me, I will try to talk about it. But since I am not yet a master of it, I'll more or less be sort of experimenting at your expense if this comes up. But anyways. Anyways. Uh, let's see. So what did I do with this one? Version 1 co of Copper and Conflict. I added Azurite and Covalite, which are both ores that are ores of copper. I wanted more variety in the game. I wanted more color. Uh, Azurite is a kind of an indigo blue. Covalite is kind of a green. Um, it's nice. I added meteorite, things that fall from the sky. And they can be crafted into fallen star and cold star for whatever. They can be forged because meteorites are usually mostly metal. And usually so oxygen deprived that they're much stronger than what you tend to find corrupted along the surface of the earth by oxygen that tarnishes and weakens it. So anyways, um, they, they found kind of, not like diamonds, but as, or kind of as rare as diamonds. They tend to be in the upper crust of things like in the sedimentary and, and soil, but they're quite rare, very rare. And they're supposed to be extremely valuable for a reason. Added the Aegis, a larger shield, the Dirk, the Chris, um, adjusted which races can use these things. So um, also adjusted goblin, or I think added blowgunning to goblins, because why not? Uh, added a few words. The the efforts to add words began here in Rod Dwarf Meat. But then when it started to conflict with the isometric stuff that I mentioned closer to the beginning, I decided I didn't. I wanted to separate it out so I could have the language without the things that would break the game for the isometric thing. Uh, added some food descriptions. We'll be going after this in a moment. I, uh, version 1.1 1, 1, or 0.1.1. Uh, fixed the whole Cold Star thing. Added Deceive, Dirk, Aegis, and Chris to the languages. Added Calcopyrite and Bornite as rarer and more colorful copper iron morphologies. I come from a background of mineralogy a little bit, so I kind of like that. Caffeine restoration. I, I'm, you could tell I'm a little hung up on this. Rescued some of her good graphics and redistributed, redistributed to them in a more advanceable way. Like I broke up the files. Here's the birds. Here's the fish, whatever. Um, this will make it easier to fill out the gaps and whatever, and also just rescue some of the ones that were stolen by Kohaku or just overwritten by Kohaku. Um, if ever we get to know what the motivation was there, it'd be nice to know. Feldspar. Added Feldspar. Um, added, uh, so, uh, oh, Feldspar must have been my fault. I must have had to fix a typo of mine. Amazonite, um, which is like microcline but green. I have a huge, huge crystal. Like 80 pounds crystal, uh, Amazonite, and it is, it's from Pakistan, and it is this just bizarre, like, neon green color, it's great, um, and kind of expensive, but these kind of minerals, as long as civilization doesn't collapse, these minerals, uh, value appreciates a lot, um, Feldspar added them to the, uh, when I added the items, I also added their words to the dictionary, Altered Dead Star again to be Forge Star, blah, blah, blah. Sorry about the indecision. Tentatively removed the ability to play as a goblin in adventure mode until more comfortable with those conflicts. I guess I was experimenting. Dread Titanic Wild Holy Birds. This is the beginning of me wanting to change how animals work. And anybody who's familiar with rigging and... and, and um, there's a T word I'm forgetting when it comes to like making a, a character model. And I'm going to experiment with this myself when I try to make myself a VTube thing. But um, 
the the raw files will allow you to sort of rig the creatures and you could make them from parts so here's here's a body design that is four-legged and here's one that's bipedal here's one that's six-legged um, here's here's like just a, a thing that describes a certain kind of arm or a certain kind of head with so many eyes or hair or whatever and you can you start it's object oriented you can start with the most basic definition and then you add other layers to it to, to build it out and make it more interesting so what I wanted to do was just start from scratch and say this this is a bird's like body and then you add layers to it to make it okay this is like a songbird and this is a raptor and then on the top of the raptor definition then you say it has this size and these colors and uh whatever and then on top of that you define this is a giant one this is a dreaded one this is a holy one i added these new definitions titanic holy and dreaded um so added wilds and wilderness to all languages uh massively altered giant creature variation probably toning their size down a bit added because i wanted to add titanic like the giant is giant but titanic is titanic right added dread holy and titanic probably bigger than the old giant variants rare and prone to claiming layers um created a more modular way to define mythic uh, mythically generic creatures i guess that's what i was just saying added thrush family of birds this was an early experiment i added thrushes the concept of thrushes and then from thrushes i defined robins D dusky thrushes and veeries and they are they are in uh raw dwarf me and they're uh, there's only a handful of these i did just didn't have enough time to do all this in and around the day job up with 2014 added fixed uh, to be more compact oh yeah basically every once in a while a new version of the game comes out and i have to change all these things and i did that for whichever one this was lukewarm coffee all right first amphibian added true frog this is an extension of what i was just talking about true frog is a kind of frog generic construct added the wood frog as a speciation species speciation of that basically that uh genus added th the process of this creation is detailed in youtube oh i did i have no memory of that that's cool okay um let's see i guess we're doing it again uh well not really sweeping changes and deer added a lot of toys as well as some made by caffeine added new pants by caffeine added hala from dragon age uh white-tailed deer moose with standard dread holy and giant versions fixed up creature variations and style of the creature development for easier movement moving forward retired the idea of titanic creatures uh i think they i'm not sure why i can't remember a f a f fixed a f slew of small bugs in creature coloration fixed a p application of jasper minerals to sedimentary excuse me layers further vocabulary one this is me just adding words this is an overlap with the other thing i have a chat message what the heck oh you're right damn it damn it damn it i'm sorry i added all these just before uh, just before okay so you've heard it but you see it copper and conflict speaking of which caffeine feldspar dread titanic wild holy birds first thing, where was i dread uh this this overlaps the other repo i was talking about earlier again 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 all of this is better said in the other repository major merger yeah another version of the game had to make uh, some changes to how these raws previously had been redefined coffee thank you by the way um something happened on the way to version 4206 fixed all the tiles and the layer stones as they got seriously changed included init files to avoid future merger confusion i don't know what i mean by that included one phoebus based art file to avoid future merger okay major merger two i don't care <laughs> more words yep yeah, and back to the wish list again so i haven't touched these in a while as you can see uh, though i'm surprised it's actually that recent 2020 
Huh. Anyways, okay, so what I did want to do was get a couple of things that are safe to add back. Who's buzzing me? Boop, boop, boop. Never mind. Okay, so objects. Here's the robin. So I was breaking these out into individual files so that it was a lot easier to find them. They're smaller files. The game doesn't care how many it loads. So this was a, a thought about how to reorganize creature definitions. But anyways, dusk, rod, uh, dusk, it wasn't, whatever. Dusky Thrush, a relative of the robin, just different colors. It has its description, name, block, cast name, all that stuff. The things, the reasons why a pe person might like them. They have three small modeled eggs, whistling bird song, round modeled chest. I, I don't, I'm not sure if I want to try to add animals back in. I'm not sure if that will break the game. I think the breaking is more or less adding other things. I might bring these back in. But anyways, uh, wait, where's the baseline? It has to be based... You can see there's a lot to this. Um, cast male, cast female. You see the female lays the eggs. If for some reason you wanted to design a creature where that was not the case, you'd put it the way the way around. Benign, mundane, natural, meanderer. Somewhere in here it says it's based on the thrush. I could just search for it. Thrush. 46. Yeah, that's the definition. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Dread Thrush. Uh, okay, so here it copies the definitions from Thrush and then adds these alterations. So it changes these descriptions. So the Dread Thrush it has, is this. Um, Holy Thrush, more changes. You see, it's, it's all the previous tags, and these are the only things that have changed. And there's a creature variation to find elsewhere that says what holy means. So maybe I should look for that. Holy. Boing, boing, boing. Really? All right, creature definition. It's got to be in here somewhere. Creature. Oh, so C variation. That's why I can't find it. Animal person. Animal person legless. So I like snake men or something. Punch attack. These are these things define a lot of stuff. They're, they're whatever. So yeah, I'm just looking for mine. It's probably at the bottom. Gigantic holy. So the holy definition applied to any creature removes snake man. So yes, uh, removes the previous any definition about the color of the animal that this is being applied to is removed first. Then it adds um, this. It adds the new tile glow tile adds a uh, color of the glow so it has sort of faint uh, bluish cn glow the the whoops these colors the numbers uh, apply to specific colors there are only a handful of them available it generates light so you'll see this creature in the dark this holy creature um, cannot be undead it has to be good uh, which basically means it will not spawn in places that are evil or whatever um, it will be at peace with other wildlife they will not attack each other has no fear Whatever. So all of this stuff, including adding these tags, like any, if, 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 if you added holy to grizzly bear, then one of the things, are per, one of the reasons why a dwarf might like holy grizzly bears is because of their divine grace, right? So this adds that to any creature that has the holy tag added to it. So it's all very object oriented. It also makes it uh, about 90% of the size. So holy creatures are slightly smaller than their counterparts. Um, and I think they all go this sort of cyan color right here. So it will say they have sort of a cyan glow, and then you visually will see their icon is more cyan than their original icon would have been. So there's all that. One of the things I absolutely want to grab, um, and so the, the early game, the default game, tends to, ca to put all these definitions in these categories based on where they come from. And my newer stuff is more about just the individual animal itself. Entity default. This I think tells you how your about your your races that you can play. So the mountain entity is dwarves. Um, it is they are the dwarf. It's translated into dwarf. They can use 
uh, picks. They use axes, whatever. In mine, they added one here. They are allowed to use Aegises. That's new. They have a whole lot of toys. These are the toys that Caffeine added. Um, dice, minecart jacks, uh, Hala doll, beast doll, titan doll, various things. They're all, and, and over here it says how likely they are to appear in your fortress or in your civilization. Uh, you know, the traders from your civilization are not very likely to have a beast man doll, but they are more likely to have a dwarf doll. Doesn't mean they can't of either one, but if, if it's just not here at all, they can't ever. But then this rarity indicates what the random chances that your civilization makes goblin dolls. Um, let's see. Alter. This is something, this, this stuff right here is why I don't want to bring this file in because I think it's broken. And I want to be able to retain the access to the vanilla and functioning display cases and alters. Uh, these are the symbols. When we were talking about language earlier, these symbols will help pick the place and people names for anything dwarven. Um, oh no, these these are culls. These will remove these, so these cannot be applied to any dwarven person or place, uh, any word associated with them. However, if there's a word under evil that also happens to be under a thing that hasn't been called, you may still encounter it because it's not always evil. Uh, they like metal, gems, whatever. Uh, just trying to think. They they like these certain biomes. Uh, religion. Their religious spheres. This, again, will influence the names they choose. And like the names of their gods and stuff are likely to be about fortresses, jewels, metals, minerals, mountains, or wealth. So under mountains, you probably get like volcano things and whatever. Um, beast hunter, wanderer, mercenary, scout. They can have these jobs. This is the stuff you'll get into if you try to add new races, and that is a very tricky business that is very easy to get wrong. Uh, I'm not going to change that right now. I just find myself going through these and saying as I go. Let's see. All right, item armor. Boink. So, did we add any of these? I don't think so. I think it was shields. Shield. Right, so... These two existed beforehand. I added this one. So the Aegis has the name Aegis and Aegis is. Its armor level is better than the shield. Block chance is a little bit higher. Upstep? I am not 100% sure what upstep means, but I left it the same as shield. Material size, so you need more... You know, if you needed three bars of iron to make this, you need four to make this one. And conversely, two to make the, the buckler. Let's see, weapons. I added a few of these. And I don't... I'm not 100% sure which of these I'm, I'm willing to bring into my next game. Spear. I think in some of these cases. Scimitar. I think that existed already. Scourge. Chris is new. So it's like a dagger. Um, uses the dagger skill. Uh, it's a little heavier than the others. Material size is still only use one bar. The damage rates are slightly higher than the Dirk. The edge is the same. This edge, the slash is a little bit more damaging. The stab is the same. Um, and the strike is a little less damaging. So I guess what this is essentially saying is you would, you, you're more to slash with a Chris than you are with a Dirk. A Dirk is more like stabbing or striking. So variations, where this dagger... I think all of these are more or less close to each other. They're just slight variations. And to add variety to the game. I may bring those over. Language, I got all that stuff. I don't want to do that again. But the thing I really wanted was food. In, what is it? The, in, the, in the original... Oh, adjusting seat. Now I'm going to put my foot to sleep now. Okay, so... Okay, let's see here. I can't remember what the originals are. Are they at the bottom? No, but anyways, there are only three levels of food. There's easy... Uh, I forget what the middle one is and fine. And... Uh, or no, some I can't remember. 
but they, they are represented here as levels two, one, one, two, and three. So level three food is the luxurious one. Level two is middle grade. Level one is where are the level ones? Wait, four? Am I just dumb? Maybe it's two, three, and four, but why? But anyways, biscuits are easy, soup is easy, sandwiches are easy. Well, sort of, but not quite. <laughs> there is a problem with that um, in response to their cookbooks. This adds more options, but you will find everything is still minced. Minced seems to be hard-coded into the game in an irretrievable way. You can't have chopped, you can't have sliced, you can't have pureed or anything. It's always minced. I wish I had access to that. Yes, exactly. Exceptionally minced water. Uh, but at least the products are more very, you know, before, and I, like I said, there's only one I remember, I can't remember which ones were which, but there's one level one, or two, I suppose, one level three and one level four food, and that was it. So I just added a whole bunch. So now, anytime you make an easy food, it could be a biscuit or a soup or a roll or a sandwich or a wafer or a cracker. Or, and then as you start getting more complicated, the middle grade, it could be a stew, a no some noodles, kebabs, dumplings, pierogi, pasta, dip. <laughs> you know, you can get finely minced water dip, perhaps. Um, chips, salad, roast, burrito, cookie, tart, custard. There's a lot in that middle grade. Um, ravioli curry. All of these things are possible. Taco. Whoa, taco's in here twice. Taquito. Ooh, let's fix that. I must have done this after we, my wife and I got back from Culebra, where we had she had Mufongo and really liked it. Uh, so you know what? I'm going to do a thing, and I'm going to edit that. I like taquitos. You can't stop me. So Mufongo, bisque, bisque casserole, marinated pie, lasagna souffle. I'm going to... Save that. Update food. Uh, taquito is not taco. Commit. That was my email address. I'm doxxed. Okay, so anyways. Um, good, food. So I'm going to grab some of this and put it into the place. Let's see. Well, I... I'll, I'll, I'll try to demonstrate this pretty soon. Let's see. Raw dwarf meat. I'm going to just grab the whole zip again. I'm going to switch over to files from browser. Not forget to do that this time. I need... Uh, where's my other thing? Hello. I'm dumb. Where are you? Okay. Raw Dwarf Feet Master. Objects. I definitely want... All right, quick vote. Do, should I risk bringing in the holy animals? I think I can do that safely without breaking things. Definitely bringing in the food. So yeah, I'll get all the creatures. <sighs> Try, I don't. Hmm. I'm just very nervous about breaking. Yeah, the food is the food is safe. I can bring in the food safely, but if I bring in the metals, the minerals, and the items, I risk whatever went wrong with the game where I couldn't have pedestals. And and my dwarves are getting upset about that. So I'm going to avoid the minerals and stuff for now. I'm going to bring in the creatures, and I'm going to bring in the... I've already brought in the words. I'm going to bring in the food. I feel somewhat selective about this. Where's the food? Okay. I'm bringing that all over. And I just did it in the wrong place. But that's okay. Cut. Raw. Objects. Paste. 
paste. Replace the files in the destination. Okay. That looks good. It'll tell me if it breaks though. So, and, and I can adjust, it won't be that hard. So I have the files now in the raw depository for Dwarf Fortress. If I start a new game now, it will have these included. The old games I have going will not have these. They, they copy all this out into their own file folders um, where you could technically edit them, but you may be at risk trying to do so. Uh, for some reason I had VS Code, but I don't remember why. I think I thought I was gonna edit some of this stuff. Oh, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. Anyways, all right, let's let's go, let's back out, get into the game, quit all this. Yes. I may have to in the future make the uh, the chat shorter so that. Uh, Actually, in the future, I'm just going to use a different application to make the chat work anyways. So let's start a new world. Uh, design a world with advanced parameters. If you missed it, the last two streams uh, were screwed up, being from two different worlds, and I don't think I want to keep either one of them. I have presently the medium island has been edited to be more to my liking. Hello, Lo is it Lola or Lolo? I... I I wasn't sure I was trusting my ears when I listened to your thing last night. My coffee's cold now. Excuse me. Alright, well I'm just gonna run that. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Okay, well, uh... This map is interesting already. Can I shrink it? Wait. That's not a bad map. I like that big river. Here we go. But yes, as I was saying, um, I started... I, I did one stream first as an experiment. It was the very first thing I did here on Twitch, was just figuring out how any of this crap works. And I started a world, and I think I used the same fortress name as I did in what was going to be a Let's Play series. And then when I came back to reload it for the second stream, I loaded the wrong one and I played four hours in that. So I both ruined the Let's Play per, uh, intent, intentions in the Let's Play and the stream. So I'm just going to start again. And it will be fine, I'm sure. Plus, na yeah, doing so, I get to use my... Okay, where's the... There we go. Um, get to use my edits to the game that I like so much. And again, those are out on GitHub. You can download them there for free. And if you have tweaks to them you want to make and are familiar with how GitHub works, you can you can make pull requests back to my thing to, for them to be merged there and, and join the community of fiddling with Dwarf Fortress. Yep, I am rolling. It, it, was, a, it was a hidden opportunity. Has the game stopped already? Oh, yeah, yeah, I set it so it would automatically stop at year 100, okay. So let's see. What is the name of the world? Twy Alino. That's that's Elven. Right, we're supposed to hate elves, right? So maybe I don't want to do that. Let's let's try. But I kind of like the look of the map. I mean, that's not a terrible map. It's just ugly. Uh. Oi. By the way, since I asked or was talking last night, I have tried to add a couple of different alert pop-up thingies to the stream. I haven't seen one go off yet, but I also don't know if they will. <laughs> Some interesting evil mountains. Yes. Okay, so over here... The illegal fingers. Illegal is one of my words. So it's already working. We haven't crashed yet. Actually, we didn't crash during generation. was a pretty good sign that the files I copied over were safe. Sandy Expanses. Expanses is one of my words. The, the Virtuous Dunes. The Sunken Buttes. Let's see. Nice fat river. I don't often get to build over a river. Diminished Desert. I like to use... Well, let's just, let's just use it. Let's, we'll... we'll 
We will rage against the fact that the world was named by elves by trying to conquer the world. How about that? So let's use this map. It could take me a second. I wonder, for the sake of chat, if I should move ton. Tune? Whoops. Tune over a little bit. Okay. Uh, and then lock it, otherwise I'll screw myself up. Okay, very good. Start. In Twi Alino, Region 4, rename. Dang stream. Hopefully then I won't forget. Dwarf Fortress. That should be... That's... That's one thing I want. Like... When I'm in adventure mode, it will it'll say you have discovered a peak or you have discovered a river and it was already named. Like you can't name it. If you discover it, you should be allowed to name it. I'm just saying. Okay, now the task of figuring out where the hex we want to be. So let's see. Do not accidentally engage in bark assistance. I do not want to be war pre forewarned. I do not want to know what minerals or what metals are underneath me. I want to be surprised and have to adapt. And I keep accidentally pressing A and it tells me and that sucks. Um, but there's usually, yeah, here we go. I want, I'm usually a three by three. I like Sav, well, let's make sure first that we have light aquifer. We have at least one of each of these. I do, I cannot pick sand without the assistant, and no, I don't want the assistant. Savagery, I, I, I'll take, hmm, I wish there were more choices. Like, not too low. I don't mind mid medium or high, but I don't want low. So I'll just pick and choose as I find it. Aquifer light, yes. A river would be nice, but not mandatory. Let's just see what happens. That's a lot of options. Um, possibly. There's there's some DF hack involved. So it really depends on your definition of vanilla. And then, of course, I've changed the raws mildly, somewhat, but not by a hell of a lot. That was one of the things I was wondering about your Dwarf Fortress, is whether or not things had been added. There were things I didn't recognize, and I was wondering what, what, what they were and where they came from, if they were. Oh, gosh, that's a lot of blinking green. I don't, I don't want to sort through that. Whoops. The heck? I also have a bad habit of pressing escape too many times. One, oh, so wait a minute. Find again. What I would really like is... Actually, yes. Let's flux stone. I want to be able to say I want igneous, like or volcanic. I want to be able to pick a volcanic le uh, uh, amount because I want to be near a volcano, but that's never been an option. Actually, it, I think it wasn't. I don't know, really. Uh, you were going through histories of things, and I'm not sure if that's just because I didn't know how to find that, or if that was a new feature added by some add-on. That's the first thing that came to mind anyways. Whoops. That's still a lot of blinking green. It's going to make it hard for me to see my volcanoes. Yeah, but... Legends, like, was it popped out in another window or another game? or so? Like, it seemed like you were doing that from inside the Dwarf Fortress, and I was confused. Mm. Here's a... Screw it. I'm just going to get rid of the find. That's too distracting. What I want to know first is, do I have all my neighbors? I want a volcano, and I want some neighbors. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Do 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 do. That's awfully evil. 
and I have no human neighbors. So that's kind of only a last resort kind of location. This is right at the edge of a human civilization, apparently, or a human willingness to walk. Uh, what else have we got here? Oh, what is my civilization? Closed hames. What is a ham? I don't know what a ham is. Fortification of knights. Opal of deer. The wayward metal. This sounds like a Brandon Sanderson um, novel. I think I'm going to stick with the, the wayward metal. That's my sieve. My sieve is down there near the center of the map and is not huge. Two curved pieces of iron or wood forming or attached to the collar of a draft horse. Uh, okay. Sand, clay, deep metals, plural. It is not a complete list. Let's, uh, maybe. Whoop. Hello. Close enough. Um, maybe. Not always getting my key keystrokes right. Not great, not awful. Let's make that three by three again. Sinister. Mm, it's not the worst. Oh, look, friggin' assistant came up. All right. You may have seen what metal was there. I didn't, so let's see. Uh, oh, no metals at all. That's not going to work. How can you be near a volcano with no metals? That doesn't make any sense. All right. This volcano is embedded in some hills. Multiple deep metals. Surroundings are mirthful. Well, okay. That's interesting. That's interesting. Uh, cool. Ool, apparently. Ool. I'm going to look at a couple more first. Uh, yeah. I, I've... I've accidentally been hooked up with civilizations that had no access to anything from which iron, uh, anvils could be made. That that wasn't cool. Carbocano spews forth rivers of molten wood. Indeed. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, this one's not accessible without a much larger map. Uh, let's see. There was once ever that I have seen a volcano on the shore. I would like to see that again. This is an interesting spot. Oh, god dang it. The friggin'. How am I setting that off? Deep metal. One metal. Um, what about the other? Also a deep metal. Could be a different one. Could be the same one. I don't like the odds. Let's go over here. Ah. Oh, my caps lock. Y'all making me nervous. Uh, let's see. I don't like this, but deep metals, plural, is a good sign. Untamed wilds, haunted. Haunted, I think, is the middle. Savagery. The raspy masonries and the fungal lava. Mm. That's... How, how does that work? Ah... Uh, but I see no reference to aquifer. One thing I would like to have, unless I'm situated next to a stream or anything larger than the brook, unless I'm, it hits in range, I would like to have a, a light aquifer if I can get it. This is completely embedded in the hills. I can't reach it. Why? I don't understand why the game won't let me colonize mountains. I mean, I'm... I'm damn dwarves. I should be able to do that. I mean, don't they colonize mountains? I think I've seen them in the middle of mountains, but I can't. All right, all right. Okay, so this is a mirthful surrounding light aquifer, but one metal and only one biome. Do I have other options? Oh, maybe? Yeah. Okay, What? what's this? Savannah, grassland, scorching heat. Keeping water on the surface is going to be hard. But colonizing... Oh, look at these. Hold on. Uh, remember that they're there. If I tried to just put a thing here in the mountains, embark is not an option. So unless there's a DF hack something added on that will let me do that, I don't have it. Um, otherwise, you'd think conceptually dwarves would be well-suited. 
Yes, unicorn. Well, uh, exceptionally minced unicorn uh, taquitos. Sand. Deep metals. Multiple metals. Sand. I like access to sand, but it's hot. Hot means water will evaporate often, but the aquifer means I can probably res keep it res restored. Woodland. Clay. Deep metals. This is an island. I have no access. To oh, wait. I should be checking if I have friends. I do not have friends over here. Okay. I do not have enemies, even more important. Uh, so many things to consider, and some of these are not available f in the thing. I think the uh, Embark Assistant will uh, allow some of this to be searched, but then it also shows me medals that I would rather be surprised by. This one has two different metals and whatever. Um, oh, well, I could embark. What's what's the other one? Terrifying. So this is just the extremes right here. This is the the, the political uh, environment of today. Terrifying and joyous, all in one go. Um, leprous flames. No sand, no aquifer. What was the other one? Little soil. It sounds interesting, but also exceptionally difficult. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not just those two things. It's also water is not a given. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Death. The ultimate point of the game. Let's see. What have we got here? I like diagonal forts, by the way, so I tend to try to orient accordingly. Oh, dang, that assistant came back again. Uh, Joyous Wilds and Haunted. So the evil version is less scary than the good version. Yeah, and... What I've often found is that when you have a well, certain certain creatures will fly up through the well, and that's no fun. Well, it's it's fun in the dwarven sense. Uh, one metal, two, three metals up to, between two and three metals, depending on whether or not there's a metal shared between them. Scarce trees, joyous wilds, no mention of aquifer, no immediate river. Hmm. Let's revisit the ones I've picked. Ool is here. Ool was what? Let's review Ool. Deep metals, shallow metal, multiple metals, flex stones, so the possibility of steel, untamed wilds, and mirthful. So there's no evil, though. And I have all of my buddies. It's quite a Quite a steep spot. I mean, yeah, I'm tempted. Right, let's try this. Any objections before I start? Yeah, finish off this coffee. Oh. I wonder. I just really wish I could instruct it to search for volcanoes. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This also doesn't have water. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the bigger the map is, the less performant is my experience. But I do see we're all up in elven business over here. There's that. Sorry for the indecision. I'm just, I want, uh, there's certain things I really want to have on a map. <sighs> Let's see. Dang it. Always one escape too many. Maybe. Let's what's what was maybe again? 
sand, deep metals. Oh, wrong size. No immediate water. Uh, access to more metals, though. Hmm. I I have to work on the story part myself. I'm trying to imagine what I will encounter. Let's let's try. Let's go to the worst thing that will happen is we'll die, right? And that's entertaining. So no water, extreme politics, leprous flames, no sand. I uh, I, I like sand though. Uh, let's check it out. Okay, I got all my friends. I got and my best enemy. Terrain is extreme. Okay, all right. Let's let's try it. Embark. Uh, why don't I have my saved things? I don't like that. All right. Well, here's what I do. I guess we're going through it again. I always have three miners at the beginning. Let's do that. Miner, 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 miner. I do not need two battle axes in the beginning. I don't get as much out of this stuff as others do. I don't get anything out of quiver. There are things I can make. I, I'm not going to have to waste points on bringing with me. Two, two of these. Wheelbarrow. I can make those easily, unless I don't have trees. I probably have trees. We'll find out. Go back to the thing. Always have a mason. The mason is also always, yeah, yeah. There's a huge amount of points. There are lots of things you could do otherwise. Uh, I'm just considering briefly if the mason should also be the engraver or not. That's true. That's true. Peasant. Uh, let's see. Mason engraver carpenter. Got well woodcutter. Sorry. And they make sense being the carpenter. Peasant, I need someone who grows things. Thresha, grower, herbalist, brewer, cook. Peasant, this person is sort of, not the diplomat, that's not the right word. Hmm. Diagnostic, diagnostician, wound dresser, appraiser, organizer, Record keeper. Hmm. I don't think I've ever brought a fuel before. All right. So actually, I want to distribute these tasks a little bit. Do I? Okay. Let's make the first guy, the first uh, miner, also consoler. Did I pick appraiser? Sorry, I'm, I'm, usually I have a save of this and I don't have to go through this multiple times, but apparently that's not the case right now. Uh, negotiator and... Yeah, true. Though I think they can also be used as for steel making, can they not? They re you require a carbon source, I think, and a leader. Or no, not teacher, leader. All right, second miner is going to also be gem cutter. Third miner is going to be, bear with me, what am I looking for? I think maybe they'll be the engraver. I do want someone who can smooth things at an early stage. Uh, and who's this? The mason will also be the building designer. And that actually means I want something different. I want the... I'll take a couple of points off these so that this person can also have some competency in fighting.
Okay. Just a person who could possibly defend us against an animal. Granted, we're going into extreme circumstances. That may be wildly inadequate. Save. Don't unsave me next time, please. Thank you. Okay. All right. Fort. The Aegis. I'm guarding something? This is one of my new words. Tactician in ambush. I can see that. I can see that. Let's see, the Aegis. The Molten. Sistuck Citadel? I don't like Sistuck. Hot. Voosh. Hmm. Well, you know, I tried once, and that's what, when I said expedition, question mark on your thing, I thought that's maybe what was going on. I tried once, I never heard from them again. I kind of got burned on that. So I need to actually get better at it. Hot. The extreme. Extreme's not a word. There, so one, one of you needs to go um, do a branch of, of my dwarven language files and add extreme. Stark? Stark? Whoops. Zatark. Sorry. Stark. Stark is not a word. Dang it. Towering. Ta how? What? Oh, adjective. All right. Uh... Magma, magma. Cool. They cool. Also, let's see. Remove the adjective. The magma crag. How do you? F <laughs> I will experiment with that when I have enough population, but I just it felt very disattached from the whole thing. I'd just I'd send a squad and if I was lucky I'd hear something, and most of the time I didn't. So I, I'm I'm very nebulous on that. <sighs> I tend to like shorter names, by the way. I think I'll just be De Cool. Or De Chool? The magma crag. We'll just go with that. Uh, group name. The name. The group name usually has something to do with it. I like watch. Azine is a nice sounding word. Azine. Um. So they are the watch. The the group is the watch, and I'll just call it the uh, crag. Chulazine. That's not a bad sounding word. Symbol. Oh, spontaneous music. Thank you. All right, so shh, object mountain. What? Really? It's not an object. Is it a shape? Yes. Okay. There's a mountain. There's one mountain. There are. Creatures. Hmm. I probably should have looked into legends before starting so we could get a background, but we can also do that in other ways, I think. I want a dwarf. Seven. It's an image of a mountain and seven dwarves. Action relationship. Um, it's burning. Relationship. Let's see. Falling, greeting, hanging from. <laughs> Maybe. Um, submissive gesture, uh, gesture. Massacring, praying to. Yes. Hopefully, this isn't identical to what you're doing. Uh, the seven dwarves are praying to the mountain. Relationship. 
this seems appropriate. The mountain looks confused. All right. Um, mountain. Own all. Confused. Oh, wait, wait. Confusing? What about confuse ed? Come on. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like there would be some conceptual consistency from one fort to the next regarding what dwarves are and the fact you can't, at least without heavy heavy modifications, you can't really choose to ch play another species. I don't want to go with confusing, but confused is not in the dictionary. The amount of virtue? No, I didn't say virtue. What are you talking about? The uh, I can go with crag again. No. Mm. What if I do? Let's see. Confused. No. This is how I inevit inevitably start adding words to the dictionary because I want the word here and I can't find it, and then I go through the whole process of redesigning everything. You know what? Heck, it's just the mountain. It's just the mountain. Done. Group fort. Name group. Symbol done. Embark. Oh. Not yet. Let us get us one hunting dog. As soon as I remember how. One hunting dog and one war dog to start. Actually, no, I can train those. So I don't. It doesn't matter. Let's just get one dog of each. Cats I can live without for a short while. I don't like horses. Uh, rams I like though. Rams and ooze. Goats. Who does not like a goat? No need to graze. Oh, I can see that. All right, boar, I'll do it. Sow. Uh, a rooster and hen. Um, and because I want to be strange, guinea fowl. All right, so then, whoops. Dimple, that's the die, right? I don't really care about dying in the short term. Uh, but I do want other things. How are my points? 71. Large rat meat, please. Cave lobster. Plump helmets. Let's see. Get more of these. I'm almost. Oh, perfect. Okay. Now let's save. Yes. And go. Yes. You have arrived after a long journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond. Your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all Unuliat, which I assume is uh, my my, uh, my uh, home. You are almost you have. There are almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance, whether by bolt, plow, or book or hook. Eyes. Blink, blink. Uh, provide for your dwarves. You are expecting a supply caravan just before winter entombs you, but it is spring now. Enough time to delve secure lodgings ere the jaguars get hungry, as they do. A new chapter of dwarven history begins here in this place. Die cool, the magma crack strike the earth. All right, what the heck am I looking at here? Uh, I don't like maps like this. Look at that. I, oof, I am definitely doing a tower. There are a lot of things to be done. However, this right here bugs me. The sudden square edges of the mountain. It's almost like someone built pyramids a long time ago and they've eroded and nobody knows what they are now. Or something. I could live without it. Where is my exact zoom? That looks right. Yep. And like I said, 
diagonal volcanoes. One, two, one, two, one, two. Oof. Let's see here. I think I will go down. And then I will. that two three probably three again let's see is this that's a four by four I want to I want more than four by four so that, that five by five will awkwardly allow a caravan to approach along this bottleneck want it slightly recessed into the ground. Probably more later, but just to get things started. Now, I am not an affiliate yet. It will be a while, I am sure. So I don't think you can do things like ask for names or whatever. I have a habit of na naming everybody anyways, because I try to know, I try to have something to grasp onto to remember who the heck they are. So I give them nicknames, usually based on their personality or preferences in combination with their gender and or their interests. Simon Swerwers? Swewers? Swerwers? Music. It's freely available on YouTube as long as you mention the work you did. I, I, I've, I have built a pretty large library of music like that. I don't know if I know him. I will look into it. I do whenever I've done um, Swerver. Swerver. Okay. All right, I'll take it. Um, when I do Let's Plays or had done Let's Plays, I always incorporated this music once through. It wasn't on a loop, but it was always one of the songs in the background was this. And then there was the intro and outro song that I did a fiver for like many years, like 2013, 2014. Um, and then a bunch of things that I have the proper licenses for and whatnot, the things that are made available. Um, I think I couldn't get it to work the first time through. Doesn't mean it won't work. Uh, something called Snap that should be able to connect to my iTunes and then I'd make playlists of the things that I already have the rights to use. And I'll include this and I'll look at Swerver and the other things I've already used in the past and make a big old library. I'm not sure why it didn't work. Um, I wanted to add something else today before I tried to figure that out again. I'm just wondering whether or not I should tr get practice trying to, to remember things and leave their names intact or do what I normally do and name every single one. The thing is, if I do that, though, the gimmick of uh, letting people have uh, name them seems like a good idea to me. And that, but that would they, they would impede each other, so I'm not sure now. I think I'll leave it alone for the short term until I figure it out. Otherwise, I can always name them. Mm. I will name them. And then I will allow the possibility of renaming them. That can happen. But one thing I like to do is incorporate which wave they came from in their name. So let's take a look at our folk here and get used to them. Whoops, wrong button. Also, I do want them to have slightly expanded options when doing things at the beginning. First of all, I, the miners need to be able to mine. I tend to not ask them to haul things. If you wouldn't mind, consider the possibility of operating furnaces in the future. Let's take a look at you. She feels fondness talking with a friend. Dishmab. I have seen so many gods named Dishmab. Um, is that a single word? Or is that two words? I think that's a single word. Citizens of the Wayward Metal, metal 65 years young, hair is quite dense, very long, braided, narrow brass eyes. That's a nice color for eyes. Have thin irises. Uh, eyebrows are slightly low. Somewhat tall head is somewhat broad. Hair is dark brown. Skin is peach. This is one thing I like in this game is that every culture has an ethnicity. 
all of the dwarves, with some variation, are going to have a similar complexion, hair color, eye color, that kind of stuff. That's that's cool to me. I don't know why, but that is. Clumsy, very weak, and very flimsy. This person probably should not be entrusted with a pickaxe. <laughs> do these things improve over time? Like, if, if they do something, do they get stronger? I, I actually am not 100% sure. Likes talc, trifle pewter, peridot, green glass, as do I. Dread moose! The dread moose are here. Um, amber, the color teal, as my wife does. Gems, gloves, ballista arrows, gremlins for their mischief. Skirt of rhythms, the sight of the fragrant droplet. Prefers to consume plump helmets, barley wine, and spelt flour. She absolutely detests leeches. I, I knew about the rusting. I wasn't sure about gaining... And I knew they gained skill. I wasn't sure if they gained muscle mass. Okay. Um, well, as a miner, she... Her, her first name will have something to do with a, a mineral that she mines. So that when I look at the list later, I'm like, oh, that, prob that person is a miner because their name suggests they would have been. Pewter... I, uh, so talc is technically a thing. It's just not a great name, but I'll do it. So first round, the first seven dwarves are called founders. So founder talc. There we go. There's one. This is a little bit of a slog. It's also a slog when I get a massive migration wave, and I apologize ahead of time. All right, so next one. You also do jewelry. That was pre-planned. You don't need to haul. You do need to do other jobs. Um, let's take a look at you. He feels satisfied, satisfied his work. Also follows Dishmab62. Um, sideburns, clean-shaven, very long mustache is arranged in double braids. Very long beard is neatly combed. Hair is clean-shaven. Somewhat narrow brass eyes have thin irises. Um, ears are somewhat tall. Hair is dark brown. Skin is beach. Quick to heal, agile, flimsy, susceptible to disease. I wonder... Yeah. Likes Galena, as do I. I have a really freaking nice piece of Galena behind me. Really, it's it's sharp as friggin' glass, and it's really, it's really nice. It's heavy. Galena, brass, blue garnet, cedar wood, giant barn owl, tooth, rammy paper. I'm not sure if that's rammy, rammy. Doors, flasks, the words of the apish coastal weather. Okay. Uh, prefers to consume giant bushmaster and pineapple wine. Gi giant bushmasters sound like the sort of thing one should unleash on an unsuspecting crowd. I'm just saying. Um, so, let's see. Galena, obviously. <sighs> I'm wondering to what extent I should try delving into their personalities. I think, to a certain degree, I look more as they start to do things. Let's see, but anyways, Founder Galena. Miner number three. Stoneworking, just stick to the detailing, that's fine. Engineering, though. I think I forgot to make a mechanic. Uh, and then Z. Doesn't feel anything at work. That's, that's, so, on my good days, that's me. Long sideburns are neatly combed. Very long mustache is arranged in double braids. Very long beard is braided. Hair is clean shaven. Prominent chin, slightly wide set, narrow brass eyes have thin irises. That seems to be common, the thin iris business. Um, now, does thin, is that like the band of the iris is just thinner than usual? Like, it's brass colored, but you hardly get to tell between the, the pupil and the, the white. His eyelashes are short, ears are slightly flattened, lips are thin, hair is dark brown, skin is peach, nose is somewhat broad. Tough, but dis susceptible to dis uh, disease. Likes slate, platinum, red diamond, gray squirrel leather, sperm well tooth, the color silver, bucklers, floodgates, figurines, oriole men for their coloration. Sound of the heliotrope avalanche of emeralds. Okay, that sounds like a hell of a valuable um, disaster. 
Yeah, what the heck? Should we expel them immediately? Um, Heliotrope, that's a color. But, and, 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 where'd it go? Where'd it go? Uh, emerald is a form of barrel. But there's another version of barrel that is Helio something. I can't remember what it is anymore. Uh, anyways, that just sounds like an avalanche of, of, of valuables are just coming down, crushing entire civilizations. Kind of purple. I w in my head, I had more of an orange. Okay. Um, purple. Barrel doesn't usually go that way. But I'm probably wrong, so ignore me. Uh, when possible, he prefers to consume yellow bullhead and parsnip wine. Neither, well, yellow bullhead may, uh, bullhead may be difficult to get up this way. Detest snails. Anyways, uh, Slate is a fine, fine name. So, Founder Slate. Right. Woodworker. Woodworker, you can do more woodworking if you like. Um, and since you have an axe, anyways, would you consider chopping the heads off things? Um, all right. He feels fondness talking with a friend. Is a worshipper of some foreign deity. What the heck, Psyopat? Yeah. I mentioned Alexandrite in one of my previous streams of Dwarf Fortress. I bring up a picture. It, it's, it is under different intensities of light. It will be different colors. It's great. It's exceptionally uh, expensive as a result. Um, I think it can be lab grown, but for the most part, I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. So he, 67, very young. Uh, let's see. Clean shaven, sideburns, long mustache arranged in doubled braids. Long beard is neatly combed. Very long hair is braided. Nose bridge is concave. Prominent chin, brass eyes, thin irises. Ears are tall. Hair is dark brown. Skin is peach. And he is strong. Patient. Has good intuition. A way with words. But little creativity and poor spatial sense. So, he likes the Lignite. Lignite. There's the story behind that. Lignite. Or Lignin. Yeah, I, I, I could be coaxed into talking about my wife's uh, engagement ring that it there's stuff going on with that um, so lig lignite which is the product of lignin which has a history and er, a uh, period prior to its evolution in earth history that gives us coal after which we don't get coal anymore um, anyways lignite sterling silver kunzite which is often pink and semi-translucent. Uh, sea otter leather, spears, splints, cats for their aloofness. Aloof, aloof, aloof. Um, nightmares for their unfathomably horrifying nature. I assume nightmare pre-existed because I didn't have that. Um, the words of the orange, orange of steel and the sound of the heliotrope avalanche of emeralds again. When possible, he prefers to consume dog, flounder, and papaya wine. We might be able to help you with dogs. It is. I that's I can't remember having seen that one before. Alright, so this guy's a woodworker. And unfortunately, I don't see a reference to a preference for any kind of wood. Which makes picking a name more difficult. Hmm. <laughs> Papaya do, I think, come from trees, do they not? They're a fruit, I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100%. That's a tough one. Splints can be made from wood. Well, papaya is also unusual. The, the name collision is not likely to happen with founder papaya. We'll go with it. Not everyone has to be perfect. Mason. 
a very important role. You may also do stoneworking if you want. Healthcare. I need to check who it was I gave some rudimentary healthcare to. Fishing, jewelry, crafts. You know what? Do stone crafting, please. Uh, let's see. That should be good. Many he's. I think I've only seen one she so far. He is a worshiper of Zas Aquamarine bron Aquamarine's bronze. Having a poor rock front is probably my fault, and that sounds awkward. His very long sideburns are braided. His long mustache is arranged in double braids. His very long beard is neatly combed. His hair is clean shaven. Nose bridge concave. Brass eyes have thin irises. They all have. Uh, oh, small lobed ears are tall. Eyelashes short. Hair br dark brown. Skin peach. Quick to tire. Really susceptible to disease. Good, very good sense of empathy and good intellect, but he has meager ability with social relationships, little linguistic ability, and very bad intuition. Idem Zyko Bilam likes saltpeter, trifle pewter, faint yellow diamond, tea woodwood, coral, the colored gold, crossbows, bucklers, the words of the orange of steel, the sounds of the skirt of ry rhythms, and the sight of the amber gorge. When possible, he prefers to consume cassava beer, and only cassava beer. No other preferences. <laughs> Baby mustache. I... I I, I, when when I when I ask my wife to try to draw these, I, some of these are probably somewhat challenging in an unfair way. Let's see, this is a stone worker, saltpeter, faint yellow diamond. The job of cutting diamonds, I think, was given to somebody else. Mm. They do like cassava beer. Let's just do that. Whoop. Founder, Kasava. Mostly, I'm looking for quick hints to things that I could get. Not only what they do in the, or especially in the early days when they are asked to do multiple things, but have a special, you know, a priority. But also when I can come across things that will make them feel better, like cassava beer. Um, I, I, I want to find out quickly. Is there anybody who likes this stuff, and can I put it in their room? Let's see. Fama. Were you the health? No. No. Okay. Farming. Could you also include milling? Pressing. Beekeeping. And if it's all right with you... Well, yeah. Clean fish, if it ever comes up, it may not come up without a source of water nearby. Jewelry crafts. If you would leather work for me and bone carve for me, that would also be cool. He. Another he. Very, very he. He is an ardent worshipper of Inod. Sideburns are clean shaven. Long mustaches are arranged in double braids. Have any not? Uh, his very long beard is braided, but not double braided. His very long hair is neatly combed. Uh, prominent square chin, somewhat narrow. Brass eyes have slightly thin irises. Does that mean, like, relatively large or, or fat irises versus the rest um, his eyelashes are short hair is dark brown skin is peach likes schist nickel red flash opal holy white tail deer leather uh, kinaf fabric mahogany the color goblets horses for their strength and the sight of the silvers of tourmaline when possible he prefers to consume giant moon snail artichoke wine hard wheat flour and candle nuts that's a Quite the menu for one dwarf. Detests rats. Hmm. Somewhat scatterbrained. Readily moved by art. So wait, what were they? I've already... Oh, farmer. Okay. Well, amongst those things, flour, candle nuts, and artichoke. Candle nut is unusual. I like that one. So, founder, candle, nut. Almost done. Diagnoser. 
guess what? Now you're doing the rest too. And if you wouldn't mind, when you're not diagnosing people, how about you help us smooth some stone and uh, woodcraft and weave things, please. Uh, I'll be able to get more specialized later as I have a population to speak of. All right. Hey, a she. Very good. Worshipper of Inod. Uh, 84 years old. Angular chin. Brass eyes with thin irises. Eyelashes are extremely short. Like, extremely. Peach skin is slightly wrinkled. Medium length. Hair is neatly combed. Hair is dark brown. Touch gray. Nose is slightly upturned. All right. Make lunch. Eat lunch. Lunch is good. Uh, what time is it for me? 1.47? Yeah, okay. I got a while yet. Almost never sick and very slow to tire. Likes marble brass demantoid. Demantoid is another very expensive gemstone. It is a garnet, if I am not mistaken. Super frickin' green. Uh, very... Not... Does not come from very many places at all. Uh... And again, take all that with a grain of salt. I have a way of conflating things. Two memories will get smashed together into one, and then they're both slightly wrong. Uh, marble, brass, demantoid, stingray leather, coral, battle axes, buckets, oats for their beer. All right. And the sight of the amber gorge. When possible, she prefers to consume giant snail, long yum, yeah, long yam plants, bumblebee meat. And this is a sort of a generic person. No... There are none of these things that can easily just go along with being a medic. So something we can do to make her happy. Odds of finding Demantoid are just not like this. No buckets, battle axes. It's too bad. Maybe that she should have been the the wooden person if she likes battle axes. Um, Yong Yam. Bumblebee mead. I'll do Bumblebee. Founder Bumblebee. Alright, we got them named. They have slightly expanded job descriptions. I'm gonna have to wait a little bit while we start to carve out places for them to hide the stuff they brought with them. Let us take a quick look at Mountain Goat. That's really extreme. We got some mountain goats. Okay. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oof. Oof. All right, so... What have we got? Ah, speaking of engagement rings... All right, so Indigo Termaline, that's nice. Otherwise known as Indicolite. I-N-D-I-C-O... Oh, we got a medal. Galena. Good. We have someone here who likes Galena. Is Galena the only thing? Galena. Brimstone, from the looks of it. Marble. That's a good sign. I like marble. So this is a very barren landscape. No trees, no water. I'm gonna have to get down into those caverns fast. Very fast. I don't even... Eh, there's soil. I can grow food. I'm gonna have to hop right on a yellow zircon. That's not bad. Cherry opal. I'm not a big fan of opal in the life of real. Smoky Quartz, inexpensive, but still very expressive a mineral. I like me a good Smoky Quartz. Keep going. Get better at mining. You can do it. Yeah, 
I will work on the music. I, I do want to do that. Okay, so, bottleneck. Good enough for the moment. Uh, boink. Clean up. Trying to decide what I want to do next. Which way do I want to go? I need access... It seems like I have access to... Soil down at this level as well. Also, one thing I want to do is keep access to the depths open, but also bottlenecked, so that if something nasty comes up from below, I have time. I can buy myself time to get dwarves inside. Stuff like that. I want to keep, I want to keep all those options open. Hello? Hello? Yeah, that was what I asked for. Why would why the delay? bit more, a little bit longer. Go right up there. And then... I'm trying to decide how do I do this. I'm, I'm, this is also going to be a death trap from above. Magma is going to be directed down into this to block entry from any army. That as much is definitely for sure. Oh, you know what I could do? Let me do that. Well, I'm going to worry about that later. That doesn't need to happen around. What I do think, though, is that if I'm going to drop magma down here, then I have to also be careful as I adjust my ch freaking squeaky chair. Okay. I have to be careful that I can't... I'm not going to easily pump magma through my... Into down into the depths of my fortress at the same time. So I really would like to come back up again somewhere. Let's have access here. This a couple of doors, then a hall. Get aside again with another door bottleneck. And then what? Three by three. So eleven by eleven. No idea how loud my keyboard is. Alright, let's get this started. This will start to get us. No 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 no. I am so wrong. Screw all that. Not quite. Don't screw all of that. Let's get it rid of it up to this point. We'll go here, and then here. We want to go up so that lava is not... It will take a long time for the lava to build up enough to actually go up the ramp. I'd have to be seriously not paying attention for this to become a problem. Get a couple of workshops going in sight. Gosh, I have no wood. I, well, I'll have three units of wood. I'm going to have to buy wood from external sources until I get down into reliable caverns. I have to think about that a lot. Once I break in, I might be able to consume some of the space up here as the baseline for the growth of, of nether caps and whatnot up here. I think I will go for that to a degree. And then... D... What is happening here? Oh yeah, okay. Very good. <laughs> You're now up. Do we go up again? Let's go up again. And then another room. This leads to a hall on either side. And 
another door. I think I'll start making my curves. I like... A big part of this is artwork to me. Oops. And I'm just going to screw it up first, if that's alright with you. These will protrude back out of the side of the mountain later on and become sort of a fortress that emerges from the mountain. Okay, now if you wouldn't mind, I could, whoops, <laughs> blocks, make lots and lots of blocks, please. You've struck Harlequin Opal. I am sorry, Harlequin Opal, I didn't mean to strike you. This music is okay. It does not emerge to consciousness most of the time. But if it does start to, then I'll need to definitely have variety. <laughs> I have ideas. Let's see. Oh! Hey, look at that. It's raining human blood. Are you kidding me? Okay. Okay, so to keep that from pissing off the dwarves, they're going to need to have places to go indoors, like, right now. So let's, uh, let's make a brief and temporary meeting area. And we'll just make it a, uh, a temple to no specific deity. So they'll hide from the human blood rain here. And then also future um, wanderers will go straight there as opposed to straight to the, uh, the, uh, the wagon there. Okay. How are we doing? Uh, microcline, why not? We've got lead and we've got gold. Hmm. Galena does more than lead. I think also silver. So silver, lead, and gold. None of those are great for the making of weapons. I think silver is okay with impactful weapons like hammers, but not so hot for things like swords. It will work, but not... It's... The, 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 na the nature of the material itself isn't ideal for that use, is my understanding. And I'm going to actually expand this out either way. Because I need storage space to bring things in and out of the human rain, human blood rain. Let me check to see if I've been contacted by anybody. I'm not holding them up in any way. Oh, look. A bin full of aliens. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My wife works in a, a shop where it's like second, secondhand, like art supplies sort of thing. It's actually really popular, but a lot of people really rely on it. Um, but, uh,. Some of the things that are, are, are donated to them are a little strange, and she just sent me, well, a while ago, 
sent me a picture, which appears to be a box full of what looked to be like stickers or, or decals of big black-eyed aliens. <sighs> Why not? I'm sure somebody could use that in their art project for sure. Hey, cat. Hey, cat. One of these days I'll put a webcam on your bed so people can see you. I can't distinguish the human blood. No, that's pretty much all human blood. Okay, I, for, me, for a minute there I thought it was just red sand, but no, it's just human blood. Someone will need to explain exactly why it's raining human blood. Okay. Alright, we've got space. Let us do some things. Furniture does not need a whole space. Blocks need space. Gemstones need some space. Um, let's do furniture with the other one. Furniture needs some space. Goods. No, not gem. I just did gem. Goods need a lot of space. Uh, wood that I have none of needs space. Weapons and armor. D. What have I forgotten? Refuse, stone, corpses, animal, cloth. Hmm, cloth. Uh, sheets, leather. Let's do cloth and leather. And then leather. Okay. Take all the stuff out of that cart. Put them indoors. You know what? I'm going to start putting a wall made from what looks like diorite. It's going to be a common option. Up and around that cleft in the ground. <coughs> Keep people from jumping down in. That is going to introduce one problem where I'm going to have to in, uh, put some scaffolding up and remove that loam wall so I can put in block walls some point. Not urgent. I can do that sometime later. But before time runs out. Let's see. One thing that's really urgent to me is to make this place defensible quickly. I don't expect I'll be able to fight anything off anytime soon, but if I can if everybody can hide indoors quickly and effectively That'll improve the odds. What's everybody doing? Constructing buildings, storing things, okay. Yeah, crap. Tricky, tricky, tricky. That is a problem. All right. No wood, no beds. I can't make beds from anything else. Granted, someone in the Fey mood might make a bed out of tourmaline or something, but I can't count on that happening. Certainly, that would be once in a like five games event, and I have multiple dwarves every game. So wood, I'm gonna have to buy it, and I'm gonna have to find it downstairs. And the stuff that I find downstairs comes with risks, and also doesn't produce that that many logs per thingy. So that's the thing I have to consider for sure. Uh, let's fix the seams now. Lots and lots of nasty keystrokes. Hurts after a while, you know. Right. Do it, do it, do it. 
All right. Well, this gets me up here. I think I can use this as an opportunity to get back down again. What's the problem? Okay, there is no problem. All right, and I do. I want to go kind of deep on that. So let's go down again this way. I can go down multiple ways though. Let's see. Let's go up this way, down this way, up this way. And also I'm going to have to decide about the magma pipes pretty soon. Magma pipes can come down the middle though. They don't they don't have to be I don't have access to sand. I will not have reliable glass. Hmm, lots of challenges on this map. Lots of things I normally would like to have access to that I won't. Hmm. Hmm. CX. I will get rid of this later, but for now, micro -cline. and then here, micro -cline. Oh, you know what? Let's see. Orders. New order. Easy. Fine. Well, not lavish. Not not right now. Brew. Brew. Process. I have no plants. Process. Things I want them to be doing forever. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but this works most of the time for me. I want things to work long enough for me to have time to practice at the better methods. Uh, what else do I want? I do want all the you know, rock blocks. Just do that forever. Make everything into a block, please. That's okay. I also didn't assign anybody to any positions. Manager. Bumblebee, would you be manager, please? Medical Dwarf, also Bumblebee. Broker. Talc. And Record Keeper, Bumblebee. Okay, sorry for all the odd jobs, but kind of necessary right now. Hey, cat, how you doing? one get blocked? No. Okay. Alright. B, C, X. Nope. C, X. Microcline. Microcline. So get me up underneath. And one thing I will want for my traders in the future is a place to go. Temporary. All right, keep going down. Another room. Oops. And then down again. Another small room, and then down again. And then up. Another room. Another room. And then up again. And then up again. And then. Oof. I will hold off there, but I will make a side room to each. Boink, 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 boink. These will be sort of gathering places, maybe lots of just temporary workshops. Shoulder time right now, cat. Maybe later. Maybe when I have a camera. Oh. Yeah, 
Don't don't take it out on me, cat. Pigs. Uh, human blood. Maybe the pigs will eat the human blood. That's acceptable, is it not? A fine practice. Got a little hill over here. I'm kind of tempted to have like a watchtower come up and out of that hill from the inside. It's not symmetrical. Symmetry is life. I'm just telling you. This is the case. Oh! I done it wrong. Okay. This is supposed to go up. Wait a minute. I am confused. Yeah, I did it wrong. Alright, let's put in... Uh, Placements. No, don't cry at the door either. <laughs> Bear with me. PCX. Here? No. Here. So, nope, not D I. Okay, so let's go all the way up, all the way through. All the way up, all the way through. And that's a problem. That's a problem. All right, so we have a collision. However, I could just move the thing. So D and let's get rid of these. So that they can't reach it. And then get rid of this. All right, where do I want that? have to worry about it just yet. Just as long as it doesn't collide with any other rooms, I'll be okay. Three whole units of... Oh, shoot. I need place for food. Let's do that. Let's put food over here real quick. And... Uh... Hmm. Hmm. I, need... I should put refuse somewhere, but I'm not 100% sure where. doing this? Construction inactive. Needs mason. Uh, the mason is just wicked busy. So, I should... I guess I could have a second mason. A ma uh, mason. Mason. But do I want to? I don't know. I think I'll do that. Peace stone. But what I'm going to do is limit the stone to metal ores. Take that gold out of the way. Keep it somewhere safe. Who's this? Brown? Brown Zircon. It's always Brown Zircon. Mm -mm -mm. Got hungry animals. All right. That's probably a wild... Wait a minute. Uh... Yeah, it does not include the pigs. That must be a glitch. I mean, pigs have to eat, you know. But it, maybe they just don't graze. Maybe that's what you were getting at. PW. All right, the food workshop. Z. Right in the middle. Well, yeah, right in the middle. Almond wood, we do not know. Um, Tyrant blocks. L. Z. I did kitchen. Was it H? No fish. Farmer's workshop. W. Uh, that's what I'm thinking about. Okay, diorite. Uh... Leather works over here. Whining cat in the back. Oh wait, Tanner over here. Diorite. And uh, Butcher. Where's the Butcher? Blink, 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 blink. Butcher shop. You. Of course it's you. Okay. Diorite. Okay, so that's a food-oriented workshop over there. And then, let's see. Let's bring in another mason here. Masonry here. Why is there a random stone thing right here? Get rid of that. 
There you go. BW Carpenter, not super useful right now, but maybe later or soon. Uh, workshop for the Craft Dwarf in all of us. Jeweler. Who else? Metal Forge, not right now. Craft, oh, oh, mechanic. Gotta have the mechanics. All right, these are all temporary. They will get individual rooms sometime in the deep future. Loom. Clothier's Shop. Why not? Loom. And Clothier Shop is a K over here. Leather, Masons, Craft Thing, Mechanics, Still, Fishery, Ashery. I have never quite gotten my head around Asheries, Dyer Shops, and, and Soap Making. I know it's possible. I know I can figure it out. I just haven't yet. And, you know, yeah, Metal S'more. Uh, metal S'more? Why not? Metal S'more. Uh, oh, diorite blocks. I'm just going to make this. Uh, it's not really useful right now, but it will at least keep that anvil preoccupied for a while. It is now summer. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'll do what you did, I think. And I'm going to make a duplicate of this game. Have a Legends thing. How do I run Dwarf I can run Dwarf twice, can I? I'll have to think about it. But you should be able to access the war from inside the game. I mean, if you can't do that yet, that seems silly. Alright, for trading purposes, let's uh, cut some gemstones. Harlequin Opal. Yellow Zircon. Rose Quartz. Oh, that's, oh. These, these come from my neck of the woods. Up in Maine, Rose Quartz, Smoky Quartz. <sighs> yep, we got them. And Dermaline. And Dermaline. Have some freaking loot with Dermaline. Though, blue... In, uh, indigo, indi blue slash indigo light tourmaline. Very rare. Quite expensive. Most of it's going to come from South America if you're lucky. What are them goats? Oh, those goats aren't mine. Still only mountain goats for a terrorizing place. It's not very terrorful so far. These two things here. Come on. Oh, and I'm just dumb. Kind of looking forward to some migrants, though. Alrighty, righty. So, room, room. I let us do this thing. I'm gonna say up here. Bonk, 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 bonk. Is it here? Yep. Bonk, and then... Ah, <sighs> and then just repeat the pattern over here. What I'm hoping is I will not run into any any rock. I need a good solid layer of uh, soil for my plants. Got to plant those soon. And now that that's out of the way, W. I'm gonna do more of this. I have to decide soon. I'm just worried if I go down again, I will. Yeah, there's stone. That looks like a. That's no longer diorite. That's a different one. Trixie, Trixie. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was dumb. I was going to just dispose of these poor animals before they starve. 
I th yeah, so I brought some of these without purpose. Horse, yak, cow. That's it. Oh yeah, and I was going to train. So hunting training one and war training the other. I wish I could war train, you know, goats. That would be great. Who shouldn't have a war goat? A war ram. Especially a giant war ram. Seems natural to me. I'm going to do this. I'm decided that I will, in fact, do this. I'm going to spread this out a little bit. So, no, two by two. Expand. Oh, wrong. And then three by three. Just the wrong freaking direction. Okay, hold on. Three by. Th No, that was the right direction. I'm just losing my mind. And doubly so. Then, let us extend this out and this extend. Just keep going for a while. A couple of different pathways. Cat, what are you doing? And then, uh... Then... What I want to do is bring in the depths. So here... It will go down instead. Trade a dish map, cut Harlequin Oakle, Oakle, store item in dis uh, stockpile. Sleep, sleep clean. Yeah, they need. I gotta get down into those depths soon. If I'm gonna have any hope. And you know what? Rock mug. Ten. Rock. What else? Throne. Twelve. Um, and make those specifically from Ganias, because why not? Rock Table 12. Make them also from Ganias, which means I'm going to have to get a bit more Ganias. And I, yes, I know it's nice. It's just I like to mispronounce things for fun. Thing. I'm going to need to put that refuse somewhere, very temporarily. Which means, actually, forbid! Go ahead and... whoops. Don't, do not claim death items. Forbid ammunition. Claim it all. And then orders? Orders? That was orders. Okay, never mind then. We don't want miasmas at such an early stage. How you doing? Okay. Oh, wow, God, bins. I see. That's, enough. That's a thing. Uh, rock pot. I like those. Let's keep those simple. Diorite's fine. Uh-oh! Here we go. Interrupted by Camel Corpse. There are a bunch of them. And I'm going... Oh, they're probably nasty and hard. Alrighty then. Alrighty, already, already. This is not cool. Okay. And they haven't carved that out yet. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay. 
I'm going to make myself a burra here. As soon as I figure out how to do it. There we go. Burra. And I want... Uh, let's see. Add... That's good enough. Uh, just burra, name burrow. Emergency. Right. And then please, if y'all wouldn't mind... UM... I forgot how to do this. Alerts. Burris. Please, everybody, run. Do not sleep. Oh, for crying out loud. That's two down. Dang it, Bobby. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. We've lost two already. I wonder if that means my dwarves are going to turn as well. Wish I'd seen those coming. Oh man. Anything else right now? Oof! Named one hamel. One hamel. One uh, humped camel. Corpses. And who did we lose? <laughs> Manager. Okay. Expedition leader, you're taking over. <sighs> Our medical dwarf gone. Uh, you am expedition leader. Pray to dish map. Yeah, you do that. Where are you? Okay. Guess what? Your healthcare now too. Oh man. Auspicious start. Wicked. Let's see. R. Oh, one humped camel corpse kicks the farmer in the right lower arm with her right front foot, bruising the muscle through the llama wool cloak. Charges, kicks. The force bends the left foot, tearing apart the muscle and bruising the bone, tearing apart the left ankle's muscle and bruising the bone. Artery has been opened. Many nerves severed. Ligament has been torn. Tendon has been torn. A ligament in the left ankle has been torn. And a tendon has been torn. Lots of torn everything. Uh, camel has been knocked over. Stands up. The farmer in the lower left leg. Artery has been opened by the attack. Force pulls the right elbow. Uh, force bends the left elbow, tearing apart the muscle. Ligament has been bruised. One humped camel corpse kicks the farmer in the head with her right rear hoof or foot, and the injured part explodes into gore. It doesn't go sailing off. It explodes into gore. I assume it's a similar story for the other. You know what, though? Slab. Two. Oh. You know what? We got... I don't know what microcline slab sounds good. They'll stand out with that light blue. They'll stand out. How far away have those horror things gone? I'm gonna have to stay on my toes with this. I don't know if I dare let anybody out. But if I don't let them out, they're gonna starve and die of thirst. Pretty soon, I think, to solve that, I'm going to uh, continue the burrow by allowing them access to everything inside. It's a big band-aid for all this right now, but I want them to have some freedom here. Just do not go outside. That's really all there is. Once they have access to food and, we'll, and uh, ale, we'll be somewhat better off. And once I make a couple of doors, I should have an easier time with that. It does seem like refuse is going to have to not be outside. Oh! Lookity, lookity, lookity. Great. Wonderful. Awesome. There's an undead dwarf. 
Already. Already an undead dwarf. Founder Cantlenut Sujirar's left hand is animated. Corpse hair. I mean, horse hair. One of the named ha camels is left. Balstistras. What is, let's, let's, can I look at you? Go to unit. <laughs> a large necked, a large long necked creature with a large hump on its sturdy body. It has been domesticated to carry passengers and cargo, but is nonetheless bad tempered and will spit when not undead. Everything is gone, but she is muscular and fat. Neck is rotten, lower body's rotten. But does that name mean anything? Can I get that translated? Yeah, I know they've been missing for a week. I was there. <laughs> oh yeah, Hannah. Hey, uh, bird, don't don't wander too far. All right, drink. Good. They're drinking. They're praying. Any future migrants are gonna. Oh. The heck what? Is that the horse hair? Yeah, animated horse hair. Do you think I can fight horse hair? I think I could fight horse hair. You know what? Create squad. No uniform at this time. Later, maybe. The woodworker is trained to a degree. Um, the rough militia. Shall I send the rough militia to slay a horse hare? Watch this be a bad idea. No. Alrighty then. Hopefully it stays dead, horse hare. Now, where's everybody else? Where did that hand go? Others. <gasps> Wait. The hand is dead. Okay. There's one camel corpse left on the map. It's a fair ways off. It's not very far, though. I'm... I think I will allow... M.A. I think I'll allow everybody to, to leave. Maybe. Where are you going? Where are you... Do, what are you doing? He doesn't feel anything after seeing Founder Candlenut glass flesh's dead body. He grieves at somebody's death. Hmm. Yes, but where are you going? Where are you going? Clean. Which one are you? Galena, you're going to do cleaning? Do you need to clean? And what would you clean? Oh, gosh. I wonder if cleaning all their blood rain is a thing that will keep them preoccupied beyond anything reasonable. Alright, come on. Okay, they're all gone. It's safe to wander. And we got migrants! Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Muthkat Rirnolnish. Respect trades. You know what, though? There's no fish. And... There's, uh, I could use a backup on healthcare, and if, if it's okay with you, I need lots and lots and lots. Is it possible to clean all the blood? <laughs> sort of. I can cheat. I can cheat. Um, but, and, and they will go, I don't know if, they'll, if they will respond to their blood rain as a thing to be cleaned, though. But if they do, and I let them, they will go at it. But they'll only do it within certain spaces that are considered home. Like, within certain number of, like, units of a building or a thing you own. Outside of that, they don't consider it worth doing. Alright, and let's get a name for this one. Hello. What am I doing wrong? There we go. Alright, she is married to Uzal Train Orbs and has two children whom I'm, I hope is, they're coming. One of the worst bugs right now is how much of a death spiral you get from separated families in this dang game. 
Anyways, Kib and Call. She is the daughter of Zuglar, ghostly crystallizes, and Besmar scenic gated. She is romantically involved with Zuglar. Ancient volcanic. Wait, she's married. She's having an affair. Okay. Um, she's an ardent worshipper of Zas Aquamarine's bronze, uh, a worshipper of Dishmab, an ardent worshipper of Kyopat, and a casual worshipper of wooden snakes of the Rosy Fells. Interesting. Uh, whoa, wait a minute. She's 15 years old, married, and in an affair with two kids. <laughs> I thought these, these things lived for a long time. You'd think they would get they wouldn't get that into their system and then back out of it again for quite a while. Okay, um, hair is extremely long, eyelashes are short, slightly upturned nose is short, ears are somewhat short, head is somewhat tall, hair is dark brown, skin is peach, eyes are brass. So not thin iris. Interesting. Quick to heal, susceptible to disease and human blood rain. Um, likes cinnabar, zinc, clear diamond, dog parchment, the color copper, scepters, catapult parts, sheep, uh, the s oh, Tower of Covers, the Skirt of Rhythms, the Sight of Silvers of Tourmaline when possible. Prefers to consume muscle, potato plants, sweet potato plants. I will be doing sweet potato uh, along with the burger I'll make for dinner tonight after all of this is done. Let's see. Uh, spelt beer. Detests bark scorpions. Natural ability with music, great memory, good intuition, good kinesthetic sense. Shortage of patience, poor empathy, and little linguistic ability. Likes others in her... Oh, never mind. So, I'm asking her to be a mason because I'm going to need a hell of a lot of masons in the future. She likes Cinnabar. Good name. I'll take it. First Cinnabar. So, naming mm. scheme rules until I'm able to offer people the ability to rename things when I have met certain thresholds. Um snap fingers uh, the founders are the zeroth migrant wave they're the originals and then each group after that is in is so first second third whatever and then something they like until further notice until further notice there's one how many are we gonna get a child oh two childs good call and kib oh, that's a good thing I don't care what they like right now they are first child, and hmm. I'm having a thought, but I don't think the game will cooperate enough for it to work. First child. So this, I want to remember which which group they came in, but I'm not going to give them an official name until they've grown up. So I just want to remember first. Later, when they've grown up, we'll, we'll re-examine their names. Peasants! Blank slate. Blank slates are awesome. Um, I lost a farmer. I lost a farmer. Please. Uh, mill, brew, plant, you gather, and farm. Please do... Where, yeah, farming. I need people to focus on this for a while, please. Let's take a look at you. Ah, he is the other one. He is married to First Cinnabar Respect Trades. He is a son of Nishit Paddle Splashes uh, and Culette Purified Roads. He is romantically involved with Dumed. Oh my god, both of them have affairs on the side. Okay, maybe this is a cultural thing that's okay within this particular dwarven uh, dwarfdom. Uh, let's see. Ardent worshipper of Kyopat, an ardent worshipper of Mamuz, and a dubious worshipper of Dishmab is um, the two the two childs are uh, first the two first childs that I just named they're both Cinnabar's children yes so that's lucky that means she's not going to become depressed later when they're not here and the bug maybe you're familiar with this but the bug is that when their family is not completely present you cannot expel them and if you cannot expel them they will eventually lose their mind and either die from melancholy or start murdering people. But if for, if their whole family is here and they get mad or, or unreasonable for something else, I can expel them and their whole family will go with them 
And sometimes they recover and they'll come back later or show up in other forts or something. But it is a horrendous... It's almost like a, a game ender, uh, like a slow death if, if a parent arrives without their kids because they will they'll lose it over that and you can't get rid of them except through creative means, I suppose. You know, drop magma on them or things like that. You can do that, and I guess that's fun. But it is a problem. I've, I've had forts go sour because of separated families. Um, but yeah, the two first childs are belong to Cinnabar and this guy here. Um, he's also 15. Okay. Curly hair is extremely long. Ears are fuse-lobed. I guess that, what, that lobes are just joined at the side of the neck or, or the head. Lips are thin. Somewhat short. Head is somewhat broad. Hair is dark brown. Peach skin brass eyes. Pretty standard. Incredibly tough, quick to heal, agile, and quick to tire. Sounds... Well, that last one sounds like me, anyways. Horn silver, bronze, milk opal, paradise nut wood wood. I love the wood wood. Clear glass, color copper, bolts geese, mm, leopard gecko men for the coloration of the words of the scholarly lyric, and the sight of the amber gorge when possible, but prefers to consume emu potato wine and kinaf seed oil and tests purring maggots. Let's see. Great creativity, good sense of position of his own body, good feel for social relationships, and a sum of patience. Bad intuition, iffy memory. I, I have iffy memory. Let's see. Alright, alright. But if I've asked you to be a farmer, then your name might have to do with something you like to eat. Potato. Potato. That's easy. First potato. Assuming I spell it correctly. That's two working adults. That's the whole thing. <laughs> the whole wave was one family. But, you know, they kind of step in for those we just lost, I guess. Yes, yes, found dead. I'm going to add more walls here. Give my guys a little bit more opportunity to run. And you know what I'm going to do? Wait. Oh, that's the one that was just there. Okay. Uh, P. R. Refuse. This is going to be right outside. P. And then also going to add bodies. Corpses. That way there's a more... A more direct... Escape path is what I'm getting at. Because th that last one was stuck down... It was asleep, frankly. That was bad. But was stuck having to go around corners to try to run. That, w that obviously is not going to work. Uh-oh. Despairing. What are you despairing about? You just arrived! You have no business despairing. First Cinnabar, let's take a look at you. She is in despair, dwelling upon being caught in freakish weather. Well, okay, I, I'll give you that. Within the last season, she felt satisfied at work. Was in despair when caught in freakish weather. Didn't feel anything after seeing a horse's dead hair, to be more accurate. She felt tenderness talking to a child, or with a child. Uneasy after seeing Founder Candlenut's glass, glass flesh's dead body. Unbelievably stubborn. Okay. Well, use that unbelievable stubbornness to uh, weather the weather, please. Oh, man, that rain. Maybe I should... This path I'm making should be covered over. It will have arched tunnels. Slightly sunken into the ground and then slightly emerging above the ground, going out to each edge of the map. Perhaps. To keep the, the odds of there being rained on by human blood a little bit lower. Oof, stretch. Arm stretch. 2.45? Uh, I think I'd normally be finishing in another 45 minutes. Stop with the blood. Stop with the blood. Extend the walls, extend the walls, please. 
I really actually not need to stop with this part and get down into them depths. So let's, there we go. Depths, what is this? Galena, right? No, okay. H. And then H, please. Yes. What is going on? Why is that one flashing and the other two aren't? Oh, because someone just started it? Okay. All right, H. So, I'm going down into the caverns, I am considering the possibility of having them exposed to the surface. That is quite dangerous, but also fun sometimes. Um, eh, and hopefully breaking into the cavern will open up my opportunities for wood and get some beds going. Seems like a valid mission here in the early stages. Oh, oh, you know what? Rock Doa. Make two of those, and if you wouldn't mind, make them out of microclime. Something bright colored. Do I have... Yes, okay. Oh, and you know what? Let's get rid of this block here. Anything that will keep the dwarfs from spending a lot of time outside right now seems like a good idea. Ah, look at that. Camel corpses. I'm going to put... I'm going to suspend these jobs. I don't want you outside right now, if that's alright with you. I don't want you being caught up in certain things. Oh, 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 okay. So... I'm trying to design what to do next. I want spaces for gardens. Oh, 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 I'm dumb. Oh, 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 what's going on? Yes. I wish somebody would follow me right now so I could find out if that new thing I added actually works. Seems like everybody did their following between streams. Oof. All right. Come on. Wood. Uh, oh gosh. Speaking of which, he's cleaning blood right now. He considers that uh, that space there to be property and therefore wants to clean it, which is really bad. We got corpses on the run. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, left hand. Okay, so two candle nut mentions in one go. Did they make the slabs yet? They have not. Please make slabs. Oh man, please stop cleaning the outdoors. I mean, that's a nice thing for you to do, but I don't want you to do it. Do not clean. <laughs> okay? Not right now. You're still doing it. Why are you still cleaning? Maybe you had queued them up or something. Alright, yes, please, no. Yeah, no, okay. Mm -hmm. On that note, though, totem. Uh, make a whole lot of totems and exclude useful things from this refuse pile. So no more skulls, bones, shells. Keep those indoors. I will make an indoors place for them. I just don't want you hanging around outside, if that's okay with you. Refuse. All right, but only skulls, bones, and stuff. Things that don't rot, but can be made into objects. Excuse me. I may need a pain reliever. Okay. So, B. No. Yeah, B. Farm plot. Yes. Farm plot, please. Please. Get that started. 
started. Oh, rock quern. Make two. Make them out of something consistent, like diorite. That's fine. Get those seeds into play. A dog is fighting. Who is a dog fighting? I don't want you fighting dogs. How do I say? Slog? Shio? Slow? Slight? What? Slough? How is that sp pronounced? <laughs> it's already raining again on that patch the guy cleaned so methodically. True. I should have two now, though. There's the old mason, and now a second. They're all storing things inside. Where, where did Cinnabar go? Are you no longer... She's... She's... What is your current condition? She's dwelling upon things and disgusted by things. Wait, where's the miasma? Uh oh Other things to concern ourselves with. Magma crabs. I don't see a miasma. Okay. Oh, marble. We are allowed to like marble. All right, let's keep going. Actually, well, yeah, keep going. Hmm, I already committed to doing it this way, so I'll just keep doing it this way. I'm gonna keep going until I hit an open spot. I think my dwarves might bring me wood, but it will never be as much as I could get myself. Thirteen! Oh! Look at that! The, 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 uh, the camels left, but now we have even more giant sparrow corpses, and they fly. Yeah, you guys stay over there, please. I don't really want to deal with that. <laughs> nice. Okay. You have discovered an expansive cavern underground. And a de Oh! You discovered an expansive cavern deep underground. So I've doubled... Doubled my fun, huh? Let's see. Let's, uh, let's stretch that out, see if I can't figure out where. Oh! That's the passage right there. So immediately I now have access to two lower levels, including red tr uh, well, mushroom trees of some kind. Is this the right? I'm never quite certain about the zoom once I've changed it. Oh, come on. Is that the right zoom? I can't tell anymore. <sighs> that was dumb. Okay. This is acceptable zoom for now. It'll, it'll, it'll be fine until next time. Um, can you get up, though? Can you even get back up? Wait, wait, wait. That's the wrong thing anyways. B, C, R... Oh, I see. There's... Okay. So it is the right way up, but it was interrupted. All right. We got... Indigo Tourmaline. Very valuable. We've got access to... Quite a few things. Please, if you wouldn't mind, I need tree material immediately. And you know what? Someone else, how about you uh, harvest some stuff before uh, we end up overrun with nasties. Yak cow hair. Welcome back, yak cow hair. Uh, I'm gonna just take you out real quick if that's okay. I don't think the yak cow hair is considered much of a threat. 
but it is disruptive. Look at that. We've got dwarves running all over the place. Probably running straight into other... Oh, gosh. They're in. I didn't even see. Everybody run. <laughs> oh, gosh. This is toast. I'm dead. This is what I didn't... Oh, wow, that was quick! <laughs> uh... That's even quicker than the last time. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Hmm... I, I want to keep going, but at the same time, talking through naming everything is a slog. Let's see. Uh, new World? I wasn't entirely enthused with all the, the volcano options last time. I'm going to do that if that's alright. Real quick. Medium Island. Technically, it would be a good time to end the stream, but it's a little early. Tom Gomath, the planet of legend. It's not a bad name. I like that there's a river going through a desert down there, but oh, there are some volcanoes nearby. And I'm seeing humans and dwarves not so far from there. That's not bad. Hmm. It went past the year 100. Did I set it to 200 and then just accidentally ended at 100 last time? A woman all. A woman all. Interesting name for a hamlet. I think I'll generate the world. Pick a place. And, uh... Maybe just scout the places, and then end the stream there. And then next time, we'll go through the naming, well, picking from those places, we'll name it. We'll look at our first dwarves. When our energy's been re re uh, regenerated, re 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 uh, something or other. 150 years. How long is it gonna, gonna go? I wanted to have built up some history, but at the same time, I don't want to wait three years for the thing to finish. <sighs> Giant undead sparrows are the worst. Almost as bad as my house cat. Seventy, please. No, you're gonna skip past it. Oh. When it's busy thinking, it's actually quite hard to interrupt it. 172 years. So that's okay. Um. Continue. Well, no. Uh, use it as it is. All right. Export image and info. Sure. I think that happened. Enter. Very good. I'm pretty sure there's an add-on to add some sound, background sound, for things like fighting and whatnot. 
I, I've heard people use it before and I found it somewhat overwhelming, but maybe it can be toned down. So it's present, but not confusing. Because uh, you notice these, the undead attacks were catching me by surprise each time. I was focused on doing other stuff. Having a hint would be nice. Okay. Start playing. Can I delete from here? I don't think I can. Nitam Gamath. Dwarf Fortress. I wonder if it'll remember. Hmm. I don't know. If I if I pick if I make notes about spaces I like, I don't like this map as much. Hold on. Eh, it's not bad. Okay. All right, all right. Lots of elves. Let's see who are, who have we got? Whimsical pillars, syrupy nets. I don't like that. Mansion of negotiating. Too complicated. P platinum. Pl Plantinum. That's got to be a typo. Plantinum. Whimsical pillars. It is right in the middle. Practically middle. Southern middle. All right. Saffron dagger. Got all the neighbors we could possibly want at this spot. Let's see. Oh, we lost elves here and gained a tower. That sounds too scary. No tower or elves. Mm, that's too bad. The river that runs through the desert sounded interesting, but I don't have enough neighbors. Hmm. What do we got over here? Only elves. I mean, sound sense, yeah. Yeah, see, I think I want it. I just, I want to investigate if if I can customize how loud or how frequent the sounds are. Something. Because I think I've heard someone else use it before and I found it cacophonous. Here, no goblins, no humans, to, but elves we can piss off... Um, to the point of war ethically like it's ethical to piss them off so that's a possibility but actually let's deep metals is as as, uh, as few as two different kinds of metal available wait 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 i actually have to choose the location um okay there's two things light aquifer oh 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 and if i point this way there's a brook a water source, shallow metals, flux stone, deep metals, shallow clay, no sand. Terrifying. Okay, so we've gone straight back to two extremes, but one is not good. It's just extreme neutrality and extreme evil. So we would be up against nastiness again, but I could, that doesn't mean we have to fail. The dagger of drains the but of secrets, the butte of secrets. I'm going to take a note. <sighs> Extreme. I will not discount that possibility. I will not discount it. Okay. It's just, it'd be nice to have human traders. And goblins are a routine source of inspiration for things to build. Um, so it would be nice to have them. I'll keep looking, but that's not bad. What do we got here? Huh. Another 4x4 four four where there is a brook right at the very edge of the map. Sand, though. Light aquifer, though. Multiple metals. Joyous wilds, both. So extreme, but not immediately likely to attack us. I don't mind that either. Let's see. Um... Wicked nice. Uh, unfortunately, the, the names are not long. Um, joyous wilds, deep metals, terrifying again, but no sand, no aquifer. But at least the terrifying part is in the corner. It's not like half or three quarters of the map, so it would be more under our not control, but. 
feel like it would be something we could explore at the edge of the map when we want to. But the lack of water and the lack of sand are not my favorite things. I will mark it though. Meh. Meh. All right. Oops. One escape too far. You know what I didn't do though? I didn't check my neighbor. Oh, lots of neighbors. So that that's better on the neighbor's front. Uh, we got here. Untamed wild badlands. But no water. We got we do have minerals. We do have sand. But the water will have to come from below ground. I'm not going to mark that right away. All right. Serene. Serene. Boop, 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 boop. Sin serene and sinister. Hmm. Light aquifer is good. Sand is good. Only one metal, possibly two metals, if they have different metals. Both of them are lower savagery, like low, low. So they they won't throw a whole lot at us. And I, I do want to go somewhat challenge. I mean, the, the challenge from last one was a lot to ask. I probably should have designed differently. Um, but no, not that one either. I don't want to be under challenged either. Let's see. All right. Oh, uh, water's just out of range, but we do have aquifer, which will make up for it. Mirthful and wilderness. So those are the middle grade. No giants, but there will be interesting things. But limited metals. I will also say meh. Whoop. Or meg. Fine. Same thing. I'm finding a lot more options this time. Nope. Uh, oof. Lots of different things happening here. Joyous wilds and terrifying wasteland next to a joyous mountain. <sighs> One whole metal on the entire map. No sand, no water. Considering what I've already seen, that's not a great option. What have we got here? Mm, just out of reach. But we do have an aquifer and we have three metals. Possibly more, but probably not more. Untamed wilds. The creatures will be big, but not evil or not good. Eh. Okay. I mean, it's okay. Unreachable? Well, no, not strictly unreachable. It, it is reachable, actually. Hmm. Ah, friggin' assistance. Go away. Many metals. Many metals and nothing else. Mirthful. Middle grade. But good. Both the woods... Both... Wait. Yeah, trees are a thing to consider. But there are no trees on either map. Okay, never mind. I mean, how are we going to piss off the elves if we don't have trees to cut? This is interesting. Heavily forested. Middle grade. No giant anything. But there is good aligned, which means we could have holy creatures wandering through. No water, but many metals. I'll mark it. Could be okay. There's a delay on those. Hmm. Where are we? Right in the middle. Oof. Lots of crap going on here. Let's see. All evil from the perspective of this, this volcano. All extremely evil. No trees. Aquifer. Sand. Metals. Hmm. The metals are constrained to the hills. The finger of vulgarities has metal. The badlands do not. God dang you, assistant. How does, what am I pressing that that's coming back up? I'm hitting A, obviously. But I'm pretty sure that A must be part of... I bet it's a part of me putting in notes, maybe. Uh, wicked evil. But the water source means I can technically lock my dwarves in and still survive. Hmm. 
uh, unachievable. There's no embarkable tiles. And I've been failing to check the neighbors again. Hmm. Did I like this one? Not that much. Let's see. N. Eh, okay. Meh. Wicked nice. Extreme could be okay. Wicked evil. Let's go here. No, I don't want to edit it. I want to go to it. Thank you. No, I don't want to edit. Oh, that is it. Never mind. So, all joyous. We got trees. Down in that narrow little valley, we've got trees. Mountain. Aquifer. Metals, plural. Possibly as... It's possible the metals are the same metal is the problem, and I don't know for sure. Wield lizard, the brook. And the ash of hands, the volcano. Hmm. I look at this one terrifying where's the volcano oh oh that volcano is uh, next to some stuff terrifying and untamed wilds sand but and water the desert of disloyalties that sounds neat sparse trees and only just barely in the corner that's not going to the distance between the volcano and the water and the trees is going to be dangerous but it's a desert well not necessarily it's a wasteland what kind of creatures are we going to get in the wasteland we're going to get more camels that's for sure and i don't have yeah i don't have the right neighbors okay let's go back through this one requires us to piss off the elves. We won't have any traders except ours. What was it like again? Lots of metals. Lots of metals. Terrifying and untamed. We do have trees. We have water. We have multiple different ways of getting water <sighs> hmm. I do want it to be interesting hard is interesting dying is interesting suffering is interesting Hmm. I like to make artwork artworks out of my things, but that's not interesting to everyone all the time. Interest sugary pits, mag the I assume that's the magmas of treating, torturing, sugary pits. <laughs> <sighs> it's a tough it's tough. The the, ter the terrifying territory is the majority, and it's right up against the volcano where I want to build. So I won't have an escape route. Like, if things might go undead underneath me, I think I will avoid that. I want challenging, but that's, that's dubious. Which one was this here? I do, and more neighbors, the better. That's all neighbors. Uh... This one, no, in, I would have to rely on the aquifers. And in this, only a maximum of two metals, possibly just one. Which could be a problem. This one didn't seem to have very interesting terrain. All untamed wilds, so no good or evil. 
but lots of metals, lots of sand, lots of uh, aquifer is definitely a plus. Flux stone is a plus. This would be a rich location. And the untamed wilds wouldn't come be coming after me constantly. And I wouldn't have my own like things rising from the dead inside my own place, I don't think. I think that's still a contender. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. Deep metals, shallow metal. Mirthful wilderness. Wait. Oh, mirthful mountain. Wilderness conifer. No giants. That's. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I know this is not that interesting. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I just want to make a good choice. Mostly, what? Just all, all completely terrifying. And very limited metals. Hmm. But water, varied aquifer. Where? Oh, in the Badlands have two different types of aquifer. That's risky. I, I wish evil meant different things. Like I'm, I'm not. I don't like the zombie business. I would rather there were other types of evil involved. squeamish all right let's see no oh there's a volcano in here let's look at this one looks very evil and no no metals here and only sparing metals there two metals max no sand no water sinister so the middle grade of evil probably undead but just not giant undead But I kind of like the way it's sort of in this valley. That's neat. Oh, and what? An evil oh, an evil lake. A haunted lake. That's not disinteresting. Hmm. <laughs> and my neighbors? Eh, no elves. Elves, you gotta, gotta have the elves. Somebody to curse out, you know? Did I just miss these earlier? Maybe I did. There seems to be a lot of variety on this one. Uh, deep metals, multiple on both, terrifying and untamed wilds. No sand, but there is water. Conifer forest, heavily forested. Acts of disgusting. Hmm. Bald flame, black distance the brook but it's not in my territory. The sacrificial forests. Hmm. Hmm. The metals are deep. I will not have immediate access to them. Let's take a look at the terrain. It's pretty flat to that side. But it's very steep over by the volcano. Hmm. Gosh darn it. This one has water. Really close. Sand. Deep metals. Untamed wilds all around. No undead, no unicorns. Considering I'm going to be fending with things underground and invading things and whatever, that's probably okay. Let's take a look at... The hills don't seem extremely extreme. Grassland and just grassland all around. That probably means giant... Uh, uh, untamed wilds, that probably means giant uh, elephants. It's warm. I'm going to risk it. Let's do the embark. Yeah, light offer is desirable. What are you talking about? Don't unsave me next time, please. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, not completed. What's missing? Ginkgo wood stuff. Ginkgo 
for what, what I'm just looking in the wrong place yeah I'm dumb okay uh, what tools miscellaneous crutches almond wood I only need one of those really the odds splints one miscellaneous I have volcano I won't need that splints crutches ropes not wooden backpacks quivers buckets two of these makes sense and given what's left over what else can I have seeds garden vegetables weapons only war hammers what that seems silly to me metal bars small cut gems glass clay I forgot if if there was sand here uh, extracts crafts toys cages bags thread splits eggs let's bring some eagle eggs for food just because we can all right fortress name I know I'm jumping a little bit ahead but I won't actually start doing anything there until next stream front compound uh, let's just do a compound name this time uh, spire I like detour detour is a good word so magma de datur hmm. lava di datur no sedel sedel datur no dwarves do not have a word for dwarves Prideful, defend, defiant tower, defiant spire. If I'm going to do that, though, I'm going to just say spire. Nope, no. Defiant. <laughs> Hold, Hodor, Hodor. Uh, not what I'm going for, but there you go. Um, good. Defiant spire. Group name, guard, Duthnur, and defiant again. Get a, a theme going, Hodu Duthur, Duthnur. Symbol, music, always on this screen. It's weird. Uh, creature, um, dwarf. Seven. Uh, let's see. Uh, object, object. Can I object? Aegis. No. Shield. All right. How come I? How can they get rect? Oh, because I didn't add Aegis's except as words, so it doesn't know what they are. Okay. Uh, fine, but let me pick it. Thank you. Um, seven. An image of seven dwarves and seven shields. They are admiring, flayed by, mutilated, being shot, tortured, burning, contemplating, devouring, embracing. <laughs> yes. Um, impaled upon. You don't really do that on shields, though I suppose it's physically possible, depending on how the shield is designed. Plaintive gesture, masking, prostrating. Smeared out into a spiral, menacing pose, striking down, no, surrounded by, maybe, confused, dejected, terrified. I was hoping they could hold, but they don't seem to be... Holding doesn't seem to be a thing, reading, hanging from, hiding, impaled upon. Praying to prostrating no raising <gasps> yes seven dwarves are raising seven shields nice action or relationship it, they are not cringing 
They're not falling, not greeting, not hiding. They're laughing. Seven dwarves are laughing. Um, cool. Uh, yeah. And change name. Defiant. Oh, shields. Sodell. The singed. Defiant. You laugh when you're defiant. I'm sure you do. Defiant shields. Very good. Done. Done. Problem solved. Embark. Yes, I'm ready. I just need to get to the point where I can save the game and say, cool. <clears throat> you have arrived. After a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond, your harsh track has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all Kennebok. My bolt plower hook provide for your dwarves. Cat is licking my elbow. You're expecting a supply caravan just before winter entombs you, but there is spring. It is spring now. Enough time to delve secure lodgings, apparently. Got to do that. Don't be artistic too soon. Ear the dingo men get hungry. There, strike the earth. Cool. I'm saving it. Thank you all for watching, for putting up with all the reading. Um, I will probably do some editing to splice out the something akin to a tutorial bit into a separate video. And come back next time. I am. I will twitch Wednesdays for other games and Dwarf Fortresses for Saturdays until things change. Cool. Thanks. Come again next time.